I want to munch. Squad. I want to munch. Squad. Ooh, I like that. I want to munch, munch, munch. I want to munch. Munch, 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 munch. Squad. Squad. Oh, thanks, guys. Justin, you can't wait, think wait, where you're going Mickey on that. It's a, that's my Beach Boys, because it's the summertime, and we got a lot of summer menu offerings. No, like, slam dunk huge announcements, but I do just want to tell you guys what's going on out there. Please. This isn't funny, but okay. Duncan is bringing back the stuffed everything bagel minis. Oh, I do love good. those. Yeah, I fucking love those. They're good. So that's I just, just want a you to know that it's good. Okay. We also got brown sugar cream cold brew. It's good. That's hey, Justin, good. when, like, are there just episodes of Munch Squad where you're actually, and you can tell me, because I'm your brother, are you being paid by Duncan? Justin, you being paid by Duncan? I'm just saying it's good. I'm letting you know it's good. Uh-huh, but Justin, Justin. Real quick, check in. Did they send on, you, like, a t-shirt, or? I want to talk about BK real quick. I'm pivoting. BK, this is beginning June 27th, so this should time out actually pretty good. This is hot, hot news for you, the listener. They got uh, some new offerings for the summer. There's current, they, they got uh, the, you ready for this? Yeah. Y- yeah, man. The Southwest Bacon Whopper Jr. It features a flame grilled beef patty with avocado spread, crispy bacon, seasoned tortilla strips, American cheese, lettuce, sliced white onions, juicy tomatoes, and creamy spicy sauce on a toast and sesame seed bun. Now that sounds like oh good offering, you know that's like a, a uh, those flavors seem on trend, you know as much as on trend. Well, yeah, so adding Southwest stuff to food, fast really food hot right fucking now. Fucking love that. Yeah. If you live in like New Mexico and they're like it's a Southwest burger, do you think New Mexico is like ugh, again? Give me like a Northeast burger. Um, no, I want a burger with oysters on it. Uh, now, here's the one that's a little bit weirder. The Impossible Southwest Bacon Burger. That features an impossible, flame-grilled impossible patty made from plants with avocado spread, seasoned tortilla spri- strips, American cheese, crispy bacon. Huh. Hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> huh. A weird cake hey, flip. Uh, hey, guys. Uh, huh. Hey. You guys doing? Hey, guys. You know what that's for, right? You know what the bacon is, right? You know what, what the bacon is. No, it's is. from bacon. What do you mean? It's ba- oh, no, no. We did a good job. It's bacon. It's just like, bacon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, tastes, oh, no, guys. it tastes so good. And it's not like beef. No, you're right there. It's not beef. But you can all see. Oh, man. Now yeah, so they're, I just thought that was amazing that they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got it. You know what they call it? That's for people. Who are looking for flexitarian options? Oh, okay. So oh, that's not omnivores. Anything. Yeah, people omnivores. who are just want to eat whatever kind of hoes in their <laughs> field of view. So that's a summer offering. They got a bacon, a vegetarian <laughs> bacon. <laughs> BK. So everybody's just trying stuff. Speaking of just trying stuff, White Castle is welcoming the summer with chicken rings. Chicken. Sorry, Juice, you misspoke. So, chicken rings. The crispy, uniquely shaped chicken rings are made with all white meat chicken, and they're sure to leave cravers satisfied while not taking a big bite out of their wallets. If you find yourself craving chicken rings, you should seek help. You and don't bite your wallet. It. No. Oh. Here's Jamie. I mean, Richard. unless unless you're, like, setting a bone in, like, a wilderness scenario... <laughs> And you need to bite down on something. Then, I, like, you've dislocated a shoulder while running away from, like, the predator. Bite down on your wallet so you don't, like, swallow your tongue. I could That's see important. that. Jamie yeah. Richardson, vice president at White Castle, seems to have conflated the restaurant with some sort of Eldritch text. Let's check in with Jamie. <laughs> a hot and tasty meal at an appetizing price is how we feed the souls of Craver generations Jesus everywhere. Christ. Craver the generations? Rings, the Craver generation. The souls of Craver generations. The chicken rings 
are delicious and fun to eat and will help cravers enjoy a hot summer treat while not breaking the bank. Can you imagine a world where they made chicken rings, but they were expensive? <laughs> Why would you do that? Hey, it's me, Jamie from White Castle. Um, so these chicken rings, uh, each ring, individual ring, does cost $20. But the reason is we realized it was easier to simply genetically modify chickens to grow in kind of a slinky a shape. Tubular a sort tubular sort of shape. Chicken. And that science cost a lot, guys. A lot of money. Um, and what? you know, and nowhere do we stop to think if we should. Um, and that one's on us. Uh, but you're gonna love you're these gonna hollow love the chicken flavor. parts. It's fun. White Castle is going. All, this is still Jamie, who's like they were out of the office, and Jamie's like, "Wait, I thought of something else to say." Come back. White White Castle is going all out this summer to deliver quality meals at a great price point. The pairing of three favorites: chicken rings, bacon. And Hidden Valley Original Ranch. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, dude. Is a tasty treat that will satisfy cravings throughout the season. That's right. They're putting the chicken rings on tiny sandwiches. Yeah, dude. Because they're White Castle and they fuck. I was going to say they don't fuck around, but they only fuck around. Here at White Castle, we believe that fast food can't exist without a victim. So welcome. <laughs> the job of fast food is to offend. Fast food cannot exist without a victim. Hey, get there and get these offerings. You've earned it. One other thing that we're not considering here. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Thank you, God. I want a munch. Squad. I want to munch. Squad. Griff and I like that Mario esque squad you were doing. Welcome to Munch Squad. It's podcast within the podcast profiling the latest and greatest in brand eating. I'm going to attempt. I'm going to see if I can show you guys. Okay. I can do a Chrome tab. Okay. 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 All right. Yep. Good. Okay. So this, uh, today we're going to be talking about a new Taco Bell menu innovation. A minovation? No, that's not what he said. Huh? Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh, I know. Shit. What? The, it, everything has changed. Yes. Everything's different It's now. so big. What is so big, Travis? The cheese it Justin. Well, that's the big cheese it tostada. It's currently being tested in Southern California for what would you pay? What what wouldn't I pay, Justin? Well, I hope I'll tell you what you won't pay. That's two dollars and fifty cents. Because it is two forty nine. And if you pay a cent over that, you have been ripped off. And then did you say this is available at all locations now? At all locations in California that are that it's being tested in. The masterminds of Taco Bell and Cheese It have come together for the ultimate test kitchen test. The big cheese it tostada, just like the iconic cracker, this innovation features a cheese it square you know and love, made with 100 percent real cheese, ridges, but it's not it's now 16 <laughs> times the original size. Just like you would buy at any restaurant in Mexico. That's literally the, the sentence it says is, <laughs> the cheese that you know and love, made with 100% real cheese, ridges, but is now 16 times the original size. Um, the collab Were they paying by the word like it was an old-timey telegram? Should we put and ridges? No, no, we can't afford and it. And just ridges. The collab creation tops the oversized cracker with layers upon layers of Taco Bell flavors. For a limited time in Southern California, which I love that they don't have to specify anymore. It's just like, you know, it's got a bunch of Taco Bell shit on it. <laughs> just yeah, like you the, get it. The stuff we put on things. <laughs> It, we, for, we put the leave-ins on it. You for know how limited, we take we take a hard thing and then we just do some meat jazz in there. For a limited time in Southern California, fans can crunch their cravings with this abundantly cheesy and nostalgic yet magically modern dining experience. Get fucked. There are a, a few things. It's weird that they put get fucked in their press release. <laughs> there are a few things that everyone can agree on. But okay. the iconic flavors from Taco Bell menu items and Cheez-It snacks appeal to all. Sure. To huh. all. Yeah. Everyone can agree that we love Taco Bell flavors and Cheez-It snacks. Uh-huh. We're thrilled about this new concept with Cheez-It, which gives our fans the chance to experience the real cheese and crunch they love 
from both our brands in a whole new way. Let me just say, the real cheese and crunch, parentheses, for the first 30 seconds, and then say goodbye to that crunch. Until they're enjoying the new orange slog bog. (laughs) (laughs) I I would love to see side-by-side pictures of this image, and and then I opened the box. (laughs) That that's not all. Uh, uh, A crunchier exclusive surprise. By the way, they describe what it is, but it's a big cheese it with like beef <laughs> on it and sour cream and tomatoes and crisp lettuce and cheese. Um, that's not all. A crunchier exclusive surprise awaits for users of the Taco Bell website and mobile app. It's the big cheese at Crunchwrap Supreme. Huh? Okay. Okay. Uh, now I'm <sighs> now, now I'm, I'm on board. Now I'm in. Something I can pick up, you say. Like an original counterpart, this version includes seasoned beef, nacho cheese sauce, lettuce, reduced fat sour cream, and diced tomatoes, but the typical tostada shell is swapped for the oversized cheese at cracker before being wrapped inside a tortilla that's grilled to go. This is the first time Taco Bell has offered a digital exclusive as part of a one restaurant test. Fans can get this cheesy goodness in the big cheese at Crunchwrap Supreme for $4.29. This partnership is a true testament to cheese its continued success and commitment to innovation, says Stephanie Miller, president away from home Kellogg Company. We're excited to incorporate cheese it made with 100% real cheese, into Taco Bell favorites and deliver customers a bold, cheesy twist on the iconic chain's go to menu staple. So this is at they, they one rule the cheese it? But here's the real fucking kicker this is at one Taco Bell location at two. Two, 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 Barranca Parkway, Irvine, California, 92606 for two weeks. So please, you have to get there and let us know how this is because it looks amazing. Now, my question is, does Taco Bell have the strength? Do they have the power as a, a the fortitude to just sell me a giant cheese? Yeah, I just without, eat the without taco cheese. mess on it. I don't want the mess. I want to pretend I'm a giant. Yeah, just like a drum. No, you no, no. Hold on. With a giant cheese, it you're like a borrower right, right. or Thank you a bore a borrower. I want to pretend or I'm a, a borrower, borrower, which I think you were about to say, or maybe just a tiny mouse in the wall. One of those things, but like yeah. <clears throat> I have two thoughts. One, okay. the fact that they sell this uncrunch wrapped is. Bonkers. The to only me. thing because I want to eat right now is this in crunch this wrapped. Crunch wrapped. But crunch wrapped because uncrunch wrapped, you're talking about you the person at the Taco Bell window hands you into your car uh a temporarily firm square piled high with mess that then like what do you you tell me imagine the geometry eating it, of eating that. Yeah, you're gonna take one bite and the structural integrity will immediately Gone. be compromised. Snap, lap of crap. Now your lap is the taco. If you contain it in a tortilla garbage bag, which is what the crunch wrap would be, that's a different story. Second thing, Justin made us look at a JPEG of this for a long time, and I felt like it was that scene in Big Fish where the kids go to like the witch and she shows them the moment of their death. That's what I felt. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. And then a different song. I want to munch. Ba 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 ba. Want to munch. Ba, 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 ba. Welcome to Munch Squad. It is a podcast within a podcast. We're profiling the latest and greatest in brand eating. And uh, we got a lot of excitement. I don't know if you guys looked at the calendar, but it's 420, baby. It's 420, and I wanted to take a moment with you. Wait, the- sorry. What does 420 have to do with anything? It's 420. Yeah. And I wanted to take a moment with you to tell you about all the great specials that are happening now in Earth about <laughs> weed. Um, oh. Yeah, because it's weed day. Doghouse rolled out stony baloney items in honor of 420. <laughs> I, I swear to God, when you started this bit, I was like, none of these are going to get me. And the first one out the gate, <laughs> stony baloney. 
Stony baloney items. Uh, they're coming out for 420. Uh, in honor of satisfy your munchies. The <laughs> yeah. In the absolute worst way with Doghouse's new Stony Baloney. Don't look. Oh, it's worse W U R S T. I thought they were just like, this shit's terrible. This shit sucks. Our joke sucks. We suck. Please Check help this. us. In honor of 420, the award winning gourmet hot dog sausage and burger concept, just say restaurant, <laughs> is launching two dope menu items. <laughs> I get it. Be available through, wait for it, May 31st. <laughs> yeah, bro. How about have some strength of your convictions? <laughs> that's that's cocaine day, bro. <laughs> these these one of a kind creations will turn any case of dry mouth into a mouth watering craving. It doesn't matter what's on. There is a stony baloney breakfast burrito, which is three count them three sunny side up eggs <laughs> with a beef patty, beef dog, chili. White American cheese, cheese sauce, crispy tater tots, onion and spicy mayo, and a flour tortilla. Don't uh, if you're not high, friends. Because that's. <laughs> does it cost twenty three dollars? And does it come with bologna in it? In addition to the stony bologna menu items, Doghouse is offering its two thousand twenty two mixologist collaboration cocktails. Uh, the best part for each purchase of the featured cocktails. Doghouse will donate one dollar to its national charity partner, No Kid Hungry. Um, a strange addition <laughs> <laughs> to this particular press release. Listen, it's not all fun and games. At Doghouse, we take every opportunity we can to craft unique creations, and 420 Munchies were a great inspiration. Says cool dude. <laughs> says says your dad. <laughs> says your dad, Chef Adam Gertler. We're offering these through May to make sure all our guests get a chance to try them. We look forward to hearing what everyone thinks about the items, all while giving back to a great cause. Where's the strength of your convictions? Yeah. If you're doing one about weed, be more like Chiba Hub, <laughs> which is a restaurant about weed <laughs> that doesn't actually sell weed. It's so important. Chiba Hub. Weed themed. Jeep, Chiba Hut Toasted Subs. Chiba Hut is offering plenty of deals to patrons to celebrate weed enthusiasts' favorite day of the year. Well, they just said it. They're <laughs> offering, yes, Chiba has the strength of its convictions, is what I'm saying. They're, they don't do a wink and a nod. They're like, you like weed? We like making money. Here we go. <laughs> They're offering four twenty four decimal $24.20 food and drink specials, giving out grinders and over a thousand rad prizes. Like rad prizes, you said? Rad prizes, like free food for a year. And Tubular! In a, a dream Colorado vacation, dude. <laughs> it's all part of their 420 promotion with top shelf deals that go on for the entire month of April. The food special offers 420 nugs served on a special edition <laughs> 2022 Frisbees. <laughs> oh, fuck. You guys to- like this too, right? They had to be like, um, hey, do we have any sort of just weed stuff lying around? Well, we got a bunch of Frisbees from that summer promotion that failed back in 2003. Yeah, get 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 those. Really get those. That's Wastoids perfect. love flinging that They frizz. can wash down their meal with either a delicious Pabst Blue Ribbon draft pour and a side shot of Fireball. That's your day. That's your day. A side shot of Fireball or two PBRs for the fitting price of 420 as well. This is another example of how we aren't your basic sub shop. We have awesome bars within our huts. We're not a cover for the government. We've teamed up. <laughs> we've teamed up with some great partners this year, like Pabst and Fireball. No, it, get out! In in my experience, those two working together rarely leads to a satisfactory outcome. <laughs> uh, to bring our twenty one plus crowd some insane drink specials and sweepstakes, and that's from Mel Bannister. I don't know if you all know. Mel, are you here? Mel. That's not all. Each location is offering a special interactive grinder. What? what? Each location is offering a special interactive grinder. I mean, I interact with most sandwiches that I get my hands on. It's an interactive grinder to the first 100 people to stop by on April 20th, which is, has a QR code that is scannable. 
until July the 10th. Wait, to uh, do what? But Does wait, it start an that ARG? Can't, that can't be right. Is it? Is it? Hey, honey, when are you going to throw in this rapper from Chibas? Okay, so yeah, for two I'm months. getting around to it. I'm, I'm getting was, around. I'm going to scan that QR code here in the next three months. I was envisioning. I was envisioning. I didn't know it was Both on the rapper. I thought I was envisioning somebody like a sandwich artist having to like draw out the QR code with mustard on each. This means something. The grand prize is a vacation to Colorado for one person and a guest with flights and activities like whitewater rafting, horseback riding at the Garden of the Gods, and a cannabis tour included. Huh. Customers will also be getting hooked up with Willie's Reserve rolling papers. Every store will have its own special events going on, so be sure to stay plugged into your local Chiba's. You can't just sneak in that you're distributing paraphernalia in there. Like, yeah, what's up, Wastoids? Do you want to come skateboard with me, a cool adult? Anyway, we will give you a big fucking bong. And like half an ounce? Is that a lot? I don't know. Do you think you have to take the rolling papers? I just wanted a sandwich, dude. I'm on my lunch yeah, break. I'm on my lunch break. I'm, oh, come on, man. Scan the QR code. No. No. Give me until, you have until July. I'm throwing this away now. <laughs> Wait, so you want me to scan something and then register all my information into it as you hand me these rolling papers? <laughs> totally cool. Totally cool. Just put your home address and previous <laughs> criminal record, dude. You got any ties to any shady groups we should know about? Go ahead and put your thumbprint on the screen, dog. Del Taco is rolling out new iteration of 20 under $2 value meal menu and new poppers drinks. As inflation continues to skyrocket, prices on everything from gas. Who cares? Tell me about the weed stuff. I, I mean, Del Taco doesn't really need to say, hey, weed friends, come and get it yeah. if you're high. I think people who are high are like, Del Taco? I'm s sold. How do we get high Be people in here to eat our cheap tacos? <laughs> Guests looking to try the new chicken cheddar rollers are in for an additional treat. To celebrate the rollout, Del Taco's Del Yeah Rewards members can get five chicken cheddar rollers for $4.20 on Wednesday, April 20th. And there's three asterisks there, I guess, to stand in for eyebrow raising. <laughs> huh? 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 Get it? For one day only... On what Dal Taco is calling Roller Days with a Z. Additionally, fans unable to pop into their local Del Taco restaurant for the one day only deal can access the offer and free delivery through the Del Taco app. Del Taco's 420 Roller Days with a Z deal is time to coincide with the unofficial. National Cannabis Holiday. God almighty. So, it's so great because it goes from like, you have over here Chiba Hut, who is clearly a cop, to this side where it's like your friend who just bought marijuana for the first time ever. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I've got some of that stuff. It feels if like you want to come I over on. I understand what Del Taco is saying, but I do have to ask, what would it take to make it the official <laughs> Cannabis holiday. Are you envisioning a reality where our incredible, our incredible by Camaro house is <laughs> join, join hands for one gleaming moment and say, let's make this baby official? Listen, there's a lot that we don't see eye to eye on. We can but all I think agree. There's one thing we can agree on. Today's the funny weed day, right? <laughs> Let the children out from school. A Ring the bell. AOC, Lindsay, you're with me, right? It's the funny weed I'm day. Fine. Yes. Have you seen these fucking values at Del Taco? Make it official. The first unanimous vote across all of government, city to federal. <laughs> uh, it's, it's to coincide with the unofficial national cannabis holiday to fulfill those mass munching needs. But whether you wake and bake or don't partake, <laughs> Fuck off. Like, seriously? Oh, thanks for letting me know I can buy Del Taco even if I'm not high. What are you talking about? Also, Del Taco, presumably you write every other press release for people who don't smoke weed. Why do you have to include them in this, this one? 
they can enjoy a smoking deal. But wait, our tour of the nation's 420 deals would not be complete without DJ Khaled. <laughs> DJ Khaled, another one, virtual brand. DJ Khaled's virtual brand. Adds, What's that mean? It adds <laughs> plant-based swings. His virt. Sorry, hold on. Sorry, now hold we've on. talked about I DJ like- Khaled's plant. Uh, we've talked about his restaurant before, right? Yes, I thought it's a virtual so. Virtual brand, right? Oh, it's, it's a ghost to- kitchen. Okay, because I oh. would like to think that I have something that resembling a virtual brand, and I'm- I did not know I could just add chicken wings to it. I am going to say some of the proper nouns from DJ Khaled's restaurant as if it is the first time I'm saying them, but I want you to know I'm saying it because they delight me so much. DJ Khaled's another wing <laughs> unveils like wings. New plant-based additions to its U.S. menu in partnership with Like Meat, a Live Kindly collective brand. The unique collaboration marks Like Meat's first ghost kitchen partnership, etc. Like Meat's juicy and delicious plant-based wings come smothered in another wing's signature flavors, including You Loyal Lemon Pepper. Wow. Honey Honey Hot sir- Honey Sriracha. Sorry, did you, did you add the extra honey for a... F- honey Honey Hot Honey Sriracha. <laughs> And my personal favorite, they don't want you to win Truffalo. (laughs) To celebrate the launch, another wing will co-host a pop-up wing dispensary. (laughs) Aptly named Another Wing Dispensary in partnership with the Flowery in Miami's Wynwood neighborhood on April 20th. Oh. Yeah. Shit, all these are today. It's too late for me to get any of this stuff. This is DJ Khaled. This Loic Wings collaboration is an incredible opportunity for people who don't eat meat to enjoy the incredible flavors of another wing. As you know, I'm very picky about what I eat, and I'll eat these wings. This collab combines the flavors of another wing with the plant power of like meat, says DJ Khaled. Let's win more. Noted power expert. Let's win more with like wings. Is it like me? Is that the bit? Because that's not a good name for it. What's it? All the it's other ones like were taken. Yeah. Yeah, We've already true. gone beyond meat. What else do we have? Beyond meat. If someone beyond served meat. me something and I said, is this me? And they said, it's like me. <laughs> I would <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm good. Uh, Michelle Colette, the head of food service for Like Me, says, we're flying high with this new partnership and are beyond excited for another Wings fans to try these awesome like wings the next time the munchies strike it's not fun anymore yeah weed's not fun anymore weed's not fun anymore let's change it to another day let's make it july 13th or something just change july 11th just after the qr code runs out (laughs) (laughs) this is like july 11th that's 7-eleven 7-eleven would love that come on in for that damn it I don't think that could be the weed day, too. It's fine. 7 Eleven. You know, I stopped at the Fast Mart on the way up here uh, and I got my snacks and my drink, and they said 7 Eleven. And I said, no, it's not. It's Fast Mart. That's good. And the guy gave me nothing. I thought it was pretty. Anyway, That's good. this is like Meat's first flight into the ghost kitchen world, and we're in it to wing it. That's not a good thing, though. Described as <laughs> the world's most ambitious restaurant launch. Holy shit. Another wing debuted in November 2021 across 150 locations and three continents uh, at the same time. So DJ Khaled has plant-based wings with his grape flavors. That's the story. That's all of the 420 that's happening out there. Probably this, there's probably much 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 more, but every no, there's was, actually not. That's oh, okay, all. Okay, you found it. it all. Yeah, a lot of people said I would never be able to find all the weed stuff, but that's everything. Good job. Okay. I want a munch. I want to munch. Welcome to Munch Squad's podcast of the podcast profiling the latest greatest brand eating. 
KFC released finger sporks, and I'm not going to talk about it. Please? Will no. you please? At least no. to tell me what it is? It's a spork that goes on your finger to encourage you to make all their food finger looking good. Now you can eat your corn with a finger spork. Does this does the spork in I don't want to talk about it anymore. No, 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 but I do what? want to talk about it. So does the spoon come up from the finger or do you like where do you scoop like you this wear or it do you scoop on your like... finger? Right, but are you talking about You can about wear hook? it either way, Griffin. It's not I don't I can't imagine that it's like an intricate mouth. Can I put process. on five finger sporks and then just pick up my tail yeah. like can that you... and just go blah 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 blah. Yep. Okay, yeah. cool. It, it's all good stuff. It's all good. It's like, you know, just like finger licking. It's finger. just if you didn't want to talk about it, I don't know why you would. I'm just mint. telling you that because I'm tired of people trying to bait me. Yeah. With these like, like anybody could do a hilarious run about that. Like, you know what I mean? Like anybody. We just did like three of them. We just did great. And I, I'm i really torn though between these two stories because one's wilder, but one. Okay. We're going to talk about, about Subway. Subway has launched its most significant menu change in 57 years. Okay. It's the Subway series. Okay. Doesn't sound that significant yet. Okay. So here's what they've done. Have they made their shops not stink like the worst <laughs> stink you've Are ever seen? Are they stinked? done ruining combination gas stations and subways? <laughs> it's the biggest menu update in the entire history of the franchise. It tested hundreds of recipes to come up with the Subway series, 12 new signature sandwiches that can be ordered by name or by number. Wow. It's a whole new way to Subway. Yeah, they're stealing it from Jimmy John's 10 years listen, ago. Listen, this is going to absolutely freak you out, but you can okay. now walk into a Subway and say the name of a sandwich, and they'll just give it to you. No wow. problem. At you know how, how did it work before? At at the before, you had to be like, okay, so take some yeast and sugar and flour and mix it up, <laughs> and then wait. I don't know, but now that's the you know how it's always you've left a subway feeling like you just did like long form algebra. And you're like, why was that so tough? Why did they make yeah. it so hard? Why yeah. did I have to make eye contact with the person as their hand hovered over the say, vegetables? And I said, no, no. <laughs> now you could just say like, give me. Give me the boss. Yeah. I can just throw myself through the front window of the subway and tuck and roll and just yell, eight. Give me the great garlic. They say here the series lineup isn't a swap in ordering options. Customers can still walk the line and customize their own choices. Hell yeah. So in case you were worried that they would say no, you have to have lettuce or you'll go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. You still can get it without lettuce. In tests, the brand found the series to be easier for guests and employees. No. Qu this is a quote. In fact, in Fort Myers, after just a few weeks, the franchisee reported guests were coming in and ordering the Subway series by number or asking the great garlic by name. Imagine if after just a few weeks, people relented to this new Subway system and said, fine, I'll just have a great, <laughs> a great garlic and I won't try to make it my way. I just want to say, as I worked at a Jimmy John's where this is the system, you have the numbers and you have the names. What you are now doing is requiring, let's just say it, like underpay. Everybody in this country is underpaid at this point. Underpaid sandwich makers, like having to artists. memorize. Artists, thank you. Memorize. And hey, thank you, artists. And you know what you're doing? You're making it sandwich by number. You're taking away you. the artistry. Thank you. Thank and you. you're saying you have thank to fucking memorize it. the name so that when I say, like, give me, I don't know, the me the big meaty boy. And they're like, oh, what's on that? What else? The boss. Uh, what, what, uh, is what you meant to say. Sure. Give me Did the boss. Them, I, I, I don't think I'm going to go into Subway and order the Mexicali. I don't nope. think I will. I don't think I'll do that. I think I'll just order whatever I feel like. And then if you want to put a label on it, yeah. you go for it. You call it the Justin if you need to. Well, I just okay. know if I commission something from an artist, yeah, I just say, like, I, I want a landscape, right? And I let them do it. I'm not going to say, like, hey, this is what I want it to look like exactly, right? Then that, That's not art. That's yeah. That's not art. I'm not the artist. You are. Like, You're you the make this. As long as it looks like a car just drove over it, then it's yeah. the Subway sandwich that what I they know should. and love. Here's a revolution. Here's what you do, Subway. 
I'm going to fill out a questionnaire that has nothing to do with sandwich toppings. Then the artist is going to read through that and get a vibe for me personally. He'll be like, oh, yes. Thomas likes, uh, you know, a cool fall day. I know exactly what kind of sandwich he wants. Surprise me. Yeah. Like a mixologist. Surprise yeah. me. A simple hundred question questionnaire. Yeah. <laughs> That I, I answer it, and then you give me the sub uh, sandwich. Okay. Filled out days in advance. And I'm going to come in on Thursday, so I'm going to fill out this questionnaire on Monday to give you some time. An incredibly inappropriately intrusive 100-question question. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's very... Why do you I, need to know my sexual history in order to make me a roast of beef? I'm actually sorry, but I do need to... It's been too long since I've done a Munch Squad, and I need to tell you about this other one, too. It's okay. Hardee's, yeah. and it is maybe... This may be the worst, laziest, terrible promotion I've ever heard of Ooh. in my life. Hardee's is partnering with NASCAR legend Richard Petty to promote Chicken Platform. What? To promote Chicken Platform. <laughs> to promote Chicken Platform. Hardee's is collaborating with one of the hottest drivers in history. <laughs> okay. Sexy as fuck. <laughs> Let me see that. Fucking also, let me check out old Richard Petty. Let me check out old Dick Petty. One of his most popular menu offerings, the hand breaded chicken platform. That can't be this the name month. Of it. NASCAR Hall of Famer, seven time NASCAR champion. Come on, say it with me, guys. You know it. Seven time Daytona 500 winner and devoted Hardy's fan, Richard Petty, will be in his home state of North Carolina to give consumers the bird, oh, boy. surprising restaurant goers with hand breaded chicken sandwiches. What is chicken platform? Oh, is a chicken platform? You know, hand breaded chicken platform. No, like, but it's the it's the idea of hand breaded chicken sandwiches. I think so okay. like a platform, like a political platform, or like mm -hmm. some planks of wood. It's actually closer to that than you would think, Trav. Yeah, I think Hardy Hardy. Her, where's my Where's my dick pet? Hardy's has always had a special place in my heart because it feels like a bite of home. Broom, broom. <laughs> this seems like an uh, apropos moment to reveal I live in a Hardee's now. <laughs> <laughs> I live in a giant chicken like that it's James long, fellow, <laughs> except it's instead a, of a peach, you see. I live in an assisted living Hardee's. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> broom, broom. me with my dressings and some of my various household tasks, and they keep me absolutely slathering at a hand-breaded chicken platform. I'm pretty sure that Hardee's could be more accurately qualified as a, a sort of hospice facility. Uh, <laughs> hospice! Um, <laughs> I, have, I have been a true fan of Hardee's, not like some of these fake Hardee's girls you'll hear about. I'm like, <laughs> So oh, you like Hardee's, huh? Name uh, yeah. three, name four Hardee's members of the chicken <laughs> platform teaming up to celebrate this delicious hand breaded chicken sandwich is a real treat for me. Plus, I'm looking forward to joining Hardee's. I'm in giving the bird a whole new meaning and surprising some deserving fans here in North Carolina this summer. Plus, they said I could have a free sandwich. Petty is popping up at a Hardee's location in the Charlotte, North Carolina area. There can't be more than 30. Uh, to give eligible guests a surprise hand delivery when they, what makes you ineligible to get Richard Petty to hand deliver you a sandwich? Oh, I don't eat chicken. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> my bad. Uh. The hand breaded chicken platform launched last summer in the midst of the chicken wars and featured the, which the fact that they're using the past tense means that there was an armistice declared that I am not familiar with. As far as I know, these wars are still raging out there. Uh, uh, the, this summer, these three craveable builds are back in the spotlight and are the ultimate cluck bait. Nope. The ultimate what? The ultimate cluck bait. Cluck bait. It's what like is grab it? consumer's it's like click attention. Plate? No, oh. it's like cuck bait. <laughs> I don't think that's it, no, Justin. I think, I think, tra I think Travis might actually be right on this one. Each big, juicy, and crispy piece of 100 premium white meat chicken is hand breaded on site and now it comes with a very small percentage chance that Richard Petty will give it to you I guess <laughs> I, it's just Richard Petty has been a fan favorite for years and has always brought that extra flavor to the track like no one else can just like our hand breaded chicken you what? know what? That's it not... brings extra flavor to the track I've you lost know. my way 
Yeah, listen, I know I kind of I kind of rambled on there at the end, but you basically get what I was going for. We really value the authenticity of this partnership because Petty is an organic fan. Yeah. Like, not like not some like, Biebers. Not like <laughs> It's just what they're saying to you now is the uh, this announcement is that if you order the chicken sandwich platform, yeah, through the app or the drive-thru. Maybe Richard Petty will give it to you. Oh, God. Which is not a chance that I'd allow for yet, but like, I guess I do always kind of assume that maybe Richard Petty will hand my food to me. Right. And wouldn't that, be, wouldn't that be an amazing turn, though, if this time Richard Petty is helping the person in the vehicle? He's your chicken pit crew. This time, he's oh, never okay. been on that side before. He's always yeah. been the one in, because I assume now part of the pit crew duties for Richard Petty was handing him a chicken sandwich from Hardy's every time he stopped in yeah. every race. I this think is, that Hardy's is trying to throw shade at the KFC Jack Harlow collab yeah. by saying, oh, it's not real shit. Like what us and Dick have is real. What right. this is He's real. He's a real American. I feel like this is a bad campaign because the very last thing that I want is to be at a, a chicken platform restaurant and order some food and then a celebrity that I do not know who it is yep. hands it to me and yeah. gives me a knowing smile like, vroom, vroom, order up. And I'll be like, <laughs> thank you, okay. mustache. Thank you, mustache gentleman. Thank you, 85-year-old Hardy's employee. <laughs> Very much appreciate <laughs> I like your hat. I didn't know that I that like was. your hat, too. Uh, yeah. I, What's I, your I, name? Let me check out your name tag, as I always do, because I'm a father of two. Richard. Yeah. Thank you very much, Richard. I appreciate uh -huh. you. Because my brain would, honest to God, kick into. He's looking at me pretty hard. Does he listen to my brother, my brother, and me? This is the thing. This is the. <laughs> this is. When they say eligible guests, I think they are talking about like checking the date on your driver's license because Richard Petty has. I looked it up real quick. He is an 85 year old man that has not driven professionally for 30 years. His oh. last ride, it was in 1992 two professionally okay the, the wikipedia says he was in his twilight years as of 1980 like huh. you have you have to as they're coming through like and one other question no reason but do you know who richard <laughs> petty is on okay site? go on in go on in <laughs> go on in. yeah on site though do you know richard petty if you <laughs> saw this he's... man would you recognize if they hold him a picture like a headshot he's just he's standing back in the kitchen just holding the bag just like looking like is it, is it do they know me no okay oh, okay i listen this is hey no richard why <laughs> well, you wait if you could sleep up back there that would be, be great our pop culture is increasingly stratified we have no monoculture to hold us together anymore right. i i have the narrowest possible sliver of celebrity more people would know me as the guy who uploaded the berries and cream sound than for my entire professional career you would have to like bring in the people that it would be exciting for me there's like 30 people that would be excited at a hardy's to have me behind the behind the drive-thru yeah um, I'm not against that though. If somebody I'm wants to either. fly some people out to be excited by the three of us handing them a sandwich, uh, yeah, I'd do it. Yeah, Party right. Hardies with the McElroy brothers, and there you can is. have that Hardies. You That's can use that for free. I mean, it will. I mean, I will no, I want to get paid like six figures, but yeah, sure. For for the idea is free. The execution is will be quite expensive. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I want to munch. Want to munch. That's the hardest Paul's ever worked out of anything. Amazing. Good job, Paul. Welcome to Munch Squad. It's a podcast within a podcast profiling the latest and greatest in brand eating and today we got the meats <laughs> because we're talking about arby's baby some we, arby's heads in the house some arby's heads in the house uh, i don't i don't who can blame you this is legitimately the what i mean i don't want to hype it up too much but this is the wildest thing i've ever seen 
All right, are you ready? I don't know. Okay. Old Spice. Wait. And Arby's. Team up for high stakes collaboration. I don't want it to smell like Arby's or taste like Old Spice. Well, good news. Neither of those is happening. Woo. Because to get... Oh, man. (laughs) It's a collaboration to conquer the meat sweats with a limited edition meat sweat defense kit drop. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Oh, wait. It actually says meat sweat defense on it. Old Spice and Arby's have joined forces to tackle the meat sweats. Arby's is really taking a beating in this brand partnership. Right? <laughs> like, this had to be Old Spice's idea, right? For and sure. And so what we're thinking is, like, you know how your gross people eat your gross food? <laughs> we'll fix it. Remember how your food's so busted that it makes people a sweaty pile of mess? Yeah, we'll put a sweaty sandwich with a sweaty pack of sweaty sauce (laughs) on the bottom. You want to fix our stink dogs? Yes, please. No longer with the the, uh, long-lasting sweat protection of Old Spice Sweat Defense Dry Spray. No longer will you live in fear of that treacherous moment halfway through a delicious Arby's half-pound roast beef sandwich. When the dreaded meat sweats strike with a vengeance. Okay. What the f- Okay. Fuck. Live in fear? Hey, uh, you know what? I, I was thinking maybe we could have Arby's for lunch. No. No, God, Not no. again. Dylan's, Not after what happened. Dylan's baptism is at four. <laughs> this, our food's delicious, but halfway through it, you might get <laughs> so yucked. That it makes you sweaty from it? And the people around you want to barf the Arby's they just ate. And listen, I know you person reading this, you're the worst it's ever been. (laughs) To defeat it once... It's gotta be right. It can't be this bad for everyone, can it? No, just (laughs) you. (laughs) To defeat it once and for all, you need... (laughs) You need the... We're gonna close off your pores. (laughs) We're gonna cauterize your pores. The limited edition meat sweat defense kit now available at rbshop.com. Don't waste your time. I bought them all. Sydney's going to, you're going to come home from tour and Sydney will be like, you smell like not beef. What'd you do? For the first time in forever. (laughs) You've been opening my mail. The key defense against the meat sweats is, drum roll please. (laughs) Anti-meat. The Old Spice Defense Dry Spray with its 24-7 sweat and odor protection. Hey, I don't want to quibble, but if I have the meat sweats, I sure the fuck hope I don't need 24-7. <laughs> it actually, I'm looking at Maybe both, just a nice, cool 30 minutes, right? Like Both the uh, stick and the spray say 48 hours. 48 <laughs> hours. How bad do these sweat. sandwiches fuck you up? No, Griffin, breakfast. It's been two days! Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, my dude. Yeah. yeah. Yes. The half pound roast, roast beef sandwich, which I have to say, is not depicted in that image. There's, There's no way. way. That is not a real roast beef. Uh, it might be a big Montana or something, but it's not. Anyway. Uh, each meat sweats defense kit is equipped with two dry sprays in popular scents that protect guys. And let's be honest. It's just guys with this product. <laughs> Protect guys from the meat sweating potential of the half pound roast beef sandwich. They are they are naming names. <laughs> this specific sandwich is notorious for meat sweats. That's not all. Notorious? Notorious? That's not all. Alongside the dry spray will be a one of a kind viral worthy Roast beef pattern meat sweat sweat shirt and sweat pant with a co- with a co branded towel and headband. Paul Saborn, let's see it, baby. No, 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 no. <laughs> For those who can't get their hands on the limited edition kits, 
Old Spice and Arby's legendary commercial creative minds came together to create an iconic new advertising spot featuring the Old Spice Why does guy. it define defense? Um, On the box, it has the definition of defense. Paul, if you can find that, uh, that Old Spice guy Arby's commercial, that was directed by Rug, uh, Rug Rats. Uh, no, Riggs Howard and produced by uh, Whedon, Kendi, and Fallon. Fans everywhere will be able to check it out on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. <laughs> Quote, a collaboration between Old Spice and Arby's makes all the sense in the world. <laughs> oh, God. You, you can, a bold statement. You can say whatever the fuck you want. It doesn't make it true. Oh, I thought it, I thought it was saying makes all the sense in the world. Come on. Beef. Good smell. Beef. This is the spectrum. It makes all the sense in the world to hilarious. Oh, what's that? Sorry. Arby's just hired you, Griffin. <laughs> yeah. Well, something, something smells like a, like lavender on a hot dog. Yes. It makes all the sense in the world to hilariously solve the age-old problem of the notorious meat sweat. They also define sweat. Listen, oh, it's man. very... I Can you imagine it. buying this kit and not knowing what meat sweats is? <laughs> I'm just a big old spice head. I'm really glad there's a clock on the stage right now because I feel like I've been thinking about Arby's for about an hour and a half. <laughs> okay. It makes all the sense in the world to hilariously solve the age-old problem of the notorious meat sweats that we've all faced at some point in our lives. Yeah. We all remember the first time we faced meat sweats in our lives. That's from Technically, Ma- all Krabble. sweat is meat sweat, if you think about it. Oh, my God. That's deep, Griffin. Old Spice continues to find unique ways to surprise and delight fans with signature humor and unexpected partnerships that remind them of the importance of long-lasting protection even if they've just eaten a half pound roast beef sandwich. <laughs> Do you think at some point the roast beef sandwich, the half pound roast beef sandwich is like, okay, I love all this for sure. This is all so funny. If we could pick other sandwiches to highlight that also provide the meat sweats, that would be so choice for me. Like if you say all of our products, then it just sounds you're having a bit of fun. This sounds <laughs> accusatory. It feels a yeah. little targeted at me. A sandwich? The mountainous half-pound roast beef sandwich isn't the only place the Old Spice has been lately. What? The beef-tastic brouhaha began this past week when the Old Spice guy made his presence known on the streets of New York, handing out sweat defense dry sprays, Arby's gift cards, and these meat sweat defense kits. It's Deca- like if someone handed you <laughs> an antidote. And then was like, and also, here is poison. (laughs) Decked out in an Old Spice and Arby's SUV, which I assume will be in my driveway at some point, (laughs) through hook or through crook, the Old Spice guy even ended up in the meatpacking district to tell them that Arby's has the meats. And they said, no, you don't actually. We do. We know. We pack them here and send it to you. You have some of the meats, but you can't claim all the meats. Whether you are eating a meat mountain or a half-pound roast beef sandwich (laughs) or just a nasty boy, (laughs) Arby's is thrilled that our guests have access to this innovative solution that helps them fully enjoy the meats while avoiding the sweats. We are big fans of Old Spice products and creativity and it was a no-brainer to have a little fun with them on this program. If I'm Jim Taylor, Arby's president, if I'm going to be so bold, maybe next time let's try at least a half-brainer <laughs> or at least a three-quarter brainer. Um, you can buy a meat sweat defense kit at uh, arbyshop.com no slash product there, slash right? meat hyphen sweat hyphen defense hyphen kit for $60. They're all gone. I don't know why I read that. Um, and you could get one of these kits. Maybe check the bay because they aren't on uh, RBZ more. So check eBay and maybe God. they're there. Anyway, that's the meat sweat defense kit. That was a journey. Can you imagine a brand like deep, like absolutely annihilating themselves to that extent? <laughs> no. 
What would it would be like if Madon- McDonald's started selling you uh, a co-branded partnership with Hefty that lets you capture all your farts in a bag? <laughs> it's like all your everyone knows about McDonald's farts, and now you can put them in a bag. Every quote from Arby's in that article did sound like it was written at gunpoint. So maybe okay, incredible. Yes. I want a munch. Squad. Squad. Bop. Wow, guys. Can you give me a little bit fucking more than that, please? You made a squishy noise in the middle, Justin. Squish, so <laughs> Just a bad. little bit more than that, please. I don't okay. want to scare the kitty. Hey, she's still there. You don't know where I'm going. Uh, I want a munch. Squad. Squad. I'm loving it. I'm loving the beer, but I feel like when you start to bust out butt rock riffs on it, it goes, it turns on me just a, uh, just a I little understand bit. That. I don't know why. Okay. I'm a challenging man now. I'm aesthetically more challenging than I was before. It takes a refined palate, but those that are into it, they get it. You know what they I mean? Know. They get it. Yeah, Ray J. Sure. <laughs> what did he do? Ray J is helping out Crystal getting oh, back to late you. night. Finally. Crystal is the original slider of the South. It's the South's version of White Castle, you understand? I've uh, never heard. I've literally never heard of this fuck once in my crystal. life. Uh, real quick, to spotlight all things, because I have another thing I want to say. Uh, real quick, uh, to spotlight all things fun after dark, Crystal is partnering with American actor, singer, and TV personality Ray J for a series of commercials. Quote, more of our restaurants are staying open later, striving to meet the Crystal Crave as our guests hmm. are getting out and enjoying the nightlife. I guess having a fun time at the clubs and the, with the nightlife and everything. Do you want to get small hamburgers from Rachel? <laughs> Weird. They make you feel super big. And I got, that's I, fun. I got to the next hot spot for us. Small hamburgers from Ray J. It's weird that you would need to do a commercial to advertise keeping your restaurant open late because of high demand. That is an excellent point. <laughs> uh, the one ninety nine crystal snack. Is uh, uh, uh is uh, a, a new option there? It's valid at uh, participating restaurants, which they always clarify. But like, I feel like if a restaurant is not participating, that's a pretty good sign that you're not going to walk away with that particular delicacy. Well, and not only that, Crystal, you're in charge. Make them participate. Why are you giving yeah. your restaurants like I don't want to do that deal? Also, I don't think you can just have an item on the menu that is name of restaurant snack. I think if I ever went to McDonald's and they're like, do you want McDonald's snack? I would be like, can <laughs> no, you be that way sinister, more specific? Well, especially when the name of the restaurant is another noun. Like, do you yeah. want a crystal snack? It sounds like what? something a rock golem would, would right. eat. Right. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. With a side of pebbles? What are you talking about? Uh, real quick, I just want to mention that Ray J actually, this is a quote. Ray J actually reached out to us Great. Through our head of creative marketing, you guys know the head of creative marketing for Crystal, right? Two chains. <laughs> no, he oh. wins two chains, and he okay. wanted to get involved in spreading the word, word about Crystal. They're Not building a lot of people like an know. MCU of sponsors. He's like, yeah. "Hi, it's Ray J. I'd like to help get the word out about Crystal." <laughs> yeah, and not a lot of people know this, but Two Chains got his name because he owns two different uh, <laughs> things in the restaurant chain, <laughs> Crystals. <laughs> There's two different restaurants. <laughs> oh, man. Um, That's got to be a humble Two pot chains, slice. one on I-64 and the other one on I-75. Stop on by anytime you want to. Be happy that, to see you. That's got to take a little bit of the win out of two chain sales where he's like, I cannot get this across the finish line on my own. Two chains. I'm, I, must, I must bring in, I must assemble the team. I don't have the, I don't have the like, self-confidence to become three chains. No. That point in the beach where there was only two chains, that's when I was carrying you. I'm Ray J. I do want to say. uh, Not a lot of people know this. It's short for Ray Jesus. (laughs) I want to. Don't think so. Um, I want to check in real quick on Carl Laredo, uh, one of my favorite uh, hype men in the biz. Worried about Carl. Wendy's is adding sweet twists to its breakfast menu. That's right. Home style French toast sticks. It's happening it's a sweet new taste at Win- at Wendy's. But how did they settle on this? Well, Carl said, our homestyle French toast sticks strike a perfect note of nostalgia and bring even more morning flavor to our menu, this time with something sweet. 
From day one, we launched our breakfast offering to save fans from the boring and bland morning options that exist at some of our competitors. Yep. Tear and we've up. done just that. So you get, so Car- they were like, Carl, I love when QSR do- does this. They did an interview. They're like, Carl, how in the fuck, man? This, how did you do this? And he said, we have a couple of options and we really honed in on French toast as a platform. Yeah. I re- love when he uses that word. The reason being is that there's there's only certain foods at breakfast time that consumers love, but are really difficult to actually put together. Yes. But also carry a lot of emotional benefits. Oh, fuck yeah. So we started this program of focusing on nostalgia. We could have done waffles, but, you know, unfortunately, waffles, <laughs> there's so many that are out there and yep, yeah. they're really bad. <laughs> Carl and and it harkens back to mom or dad pulling out waffles in the freezer and there's always freezer burn. Yeah, it's not, like, <laughs> is this all real? This is, bud, I'm just reading it. <laughs> <laughs> Carl is a fucking artist. He's like the Gene he's Shepherd, a he's the, like of our time. The story he's creating, I am sucked into this. So, so it harkens back to mom or dad pulling waffles out of the freezer. There's always freezer burn. It wasn't really all that special. Yeah. Pancakes, which are honestly just like dry mix and you mix water and then you throw it in a pan. Take that fucking pancakes. You're like, on blast. Carl Lorena's coming for you. Bullshit. Fuck. Yeah, fuck that play. Anyway, uh, throw it in a pan. It lacked a little bit of the extra love that's needed. French toast. Oh, for now, French toast is interesting. No, it's, no I'm interested. So with our research, we discovered French toast is one of those things that was super special. Hi, I'm a researcher, Carl, and I've got the report <laughs> in. And it turns out French toast is super special. He's you were right. Our hypothesis was right. He just swirls a beaker around and the fluid turns from blue to purple. And he's like, it's special. Can you tell, Carl? It's Confirmed. super special. I watched, I watched <laughs> the French toast molecule collide with the syrup molecule. And we did it. The God particle. <laughs> it's extremely special, Carl. Smell this beaker. Oh, what is that? Waffles. That's not special. No, this is conjuring oh. images of freezer burn and uh, just mother and father taking him out of the, the freezer. It's like my mother and father, who I hate. Now this. Real quick. What's the key differentiating factor of your French toast sticks from the others? Carl well, says, it took us a year. <laughs> it took us a year. We went through 18 different. Uh, whenever they say that, I always wonder, is that like six of the same people rolling up to the office every morning? They're like, well, time to make some more fucking French toast. <laughs> Uh, this is Carl Fuck. Laredo, a uh, French fry visionary. So yes, Justin, I'm going to say that this was Carl and maybe a team of five that had to Carl rotate CMO. out. Carl CMO, he's just a hype man. He's not out there. He's not like Chef Mike out there like developing recipes. Like he is. Uh, perhaps you don't just... remember the fucking poetry that uh, Carl Laredo laid down about Wendy's new crispy fries. No, I know he spits words, but he doesn't like fry fries himself. Yeah. You assume about... it took us a year. We went through 18 different iterations to get this right. So if I could just do a little bit of math uh, real quick, if everyone could just be patient. I'm just pulling up my calculator real quick. Nope, that's my calendar. Are you dividing 365 by 18? So if real quick, if I divide 365 by 18, I get 20. So... They would make it for 20 days. <laughs> Every 20 days, they're like, no, no, I quit. Do it yeah. again. Uh, Get me a new batch of French toast of chefs. Of chefs. You're out. <laughs> we have to make the French toast just like your mom, grandma, your dad, whoever it was that made it in your house. The talking dog, the robot butler, whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> the big French ghost. The, well boy. <laughs> the magic oven. Whatever. The, the Whatever well made your French Whoever. toast, dude. Well, boy. You're Sometimes you just wake up and the French toast is there and you live alone and you're not sure. <laughs> Whatever. Your candelabra. Your, <laughs> your 3D printer. Whoever it doesn't made- matter. The French toast tree you grew outside that everyone said would never work, <laughs> but look where you got. The void gate in the ceiling. We Wherever get it. you get it from. Doesn't matter. So we went through, okay, so, they, so we start with Texas toast. It goes through an actual egg and dairy and vanilla sugar mix. It's Royale. 
It's a yeah. it's a custard. I'm just reading, by the way. If I editorialize, wow, I will, okay, yeah, it's a royale. It's a custard. We make sure it sits in this royale for the right amount of time. Notice he's not saying the right amount of time. No, he's that's not like, giving it that away. Wow, that's trade secret. It's got to absorb and then actually go through a griddle process. Yeah. Because you actually want to get all the caramelization around the French toast to get that caramelization color. Yeah. And more yeah. importantly, the flavor. Then when we get it to a restaurant, this is just a quick flash fry to get it crispy on the outside and you maintain the custard interior. That's what we wanted to Beautiful. land on. It took us this long because we didn't want to launch until we got it right. Hey, if I could just say, Carl, fucking great instincts, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> like, you don't want to do a you don't want to do a soft open on this one on some shitty yeah, toast. No way. <laughs> We're at, this one's in beta, so just try it. And if you don't like it, it's it's fine. We weren't going to stick with it anyway. It's fine. I do want to say it sounds like he did describe how to make French toast. Which... Yes, yeah. which I should mention. It's not hard to do, my friend. No, it's, it's really not. not. If that's the goal, it's like, my mom won't make me French toast anymore. I'm going to Wendy's. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. <laughs> no time for this. Anyway, there. you know how your your uh, caregiver always cut your French toast into sticks and then put it in a cardboard sleeve and charge you $5 for it? Well, <laughs> yeah. The memory, the magic is back. But unfortunately, the magic is also ended. Damn, I bet you putting them in the in a Frosty. I bet that goes down real smooth. Oh, fuck. Uh, do you have a munch squad, Justin? Because there's something. Yeah, okay. What? No, <laughs> what ahead. were you going to say? There's just, a... I saw something in our tip, in the tip line that felt very munch squad worthy. Uh, and I didn't know if you were going to bring it On the not. tip line? We have a tip line? We have an email yeah, address? On the, on the hotline, on the hot, the bim bim bam uh, munch squad hotline. Um... On the newswire. You know. The Munch Quad um, AP oh, Newswire. Oh, coming across the Newswire. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, I will I will go ahead and I will mention this briefly. This is not a Munch Squad. I'm, lis- I'm experiencing this as you are. This but, is just uh, coming. Uh, uh, folks, this is just this coming, is coming to our desk. I've just been handed this. Sorry, this has just come in. Oh, no, You're you on guys video. can see I'm just holding up a picture of a flower my kid drew. Okay. Wait, That's which one drew that? That's that. really good. Yeah, show me. That's a really good picture. Wow. That's top notch. The detail. Who drew that? Was that Cooper or Charlie? Yeah, it's Charlie. Yeah. It's a flower it's style. It's a flower style? This is like we got. her flower style. I, mean, I love it. Likes to draw it's flowers. like a Good. iris. I anyway. was recording audio for um, cartoon name redacted, and uh, she sat across from me and did some art while I... This doesn't matter. Tony the Tiger is going to be a VTuber. What? No one says mm. that. Do people say that? Yeah. VTuber? People still say that. Yeah, v-du- v-du- uh, it's sorry, Grandpa. It's pronounced Vduper. Vduper. Mm-hmm. Vduper. Uh, is that a van- vampire YouTuber? Yes. Right. <laughs> Kellogg's mascot Tony the Tiger will become an interactive virtual YouTuber or Vduper. The first show will air on Friday, August 19th from 5 to 7 ET as Tony the Tiger takes on well known streamers and competes on Twitch. He's yeah. going up against these names, mean nothing to me. No, and they're playing, they're and real. it says they're going to be playing a popular battle royale game. So I guess that okay. Bizdev deal hasn't closed yet. <laughs> Not quite. Right. They open. are bringing it down to the wire. I am going to watch this tiger be like, "I'm Goku now. I, suck, suck my Dragon Balls." <laughs> I hope Tony the Tiger kicks their asses. Right? Like, oh. there's nothing better to me than this idea of like, well, originally this was supposed to be like a one-off thing, but. Then we couldn't stop because Tony was undefeated. Tony the Tiger just won like one point two million dollars in a video game championship. We don't know what to do. He's not he real. Doesn't, he doesn't work for Frosted Flakes anymore. Yeah, the box is empty. It just says Flakes. Yeah, it's, it's, a, <laughs> it's a blue, a plain blue box that says Flakes on it. He took the frosting with him when he left. He owned the frost. We didn't even know his contract is so old. He owned the frosting. No one knew. This innovative He made the frosting taps. himself. He exuded it from his pores. <laughs> this innovative concept taps into the growing popularity of VTubing on Twitch, where we saw VTubing content increase 467% year over year last year, explained Adam Harris, the global head of Twitch's brand partnership studio. Together with Kellogg's Frosted Flakes, we're producing a made-for-the-Twitch community live experience that introduces a beloved character to well-known Twitch streamers, fosters okay. a healthy dose of competition, and encourages viewers to 
to interact with Tony the Tiger in real time chat. And uh, he doesn't say this, but I'm going to assume it's just implied inviting some various corners of the internet to come and get so horny. I was that about to on say main, that you how, will not believe it. The mod team must be yeah. extensive. <laughs> how refreshing it will be for the internet to see a virtual Tony the Tiger uh, where he does not have just the biggest hog just out. You assume. Well, yeah, I guess I don't. I've not looked at much erotic Tony the Tiger. No, art, oh, but, sorry. But, I meant you assume that during this Frosted Flakes uh, sponsored stream, Tony the Tiger wouldn't have his hog out. Oh, yeah. fair. Yeah. Now, yeah, well, it I, is virtual, right? So someone would have to go deep into the the option, some deep hot bars on Blender to uh, really whip up this Tiger hog. Now, I also want to say I, the reason I love this so much is to talk about the 2010s. Uh, for a long time there. Tony's whole deal was like, get out there and play some sports. Let's yeah. do soccer and basketball. You're great. We are the Mighty Mighty Tigers. And now he's like, this chair is pretty comfortable. I'm just going to yeah. stay here and enjoy some Baja Blast for a while. At the behest of this uh, Mabimian listener that sent this question in, um, they did. They, I, I ducked into Tumblr just to see how it's going. <laughs> going over there and it, there's a lot of like uh it's my time to shine yes yes we have to tell the furries yes uh post entire pages of tony x grinch fanfic in the chat <laughs> <Fuck> yes. <laughs> yes let's go yes yes we need to bring that you can give me a yogurt enema anytime tony energy <laughs> whoa yeah, Gosh. you can frost my flake, Tony. Uh, thank you. There's uh, so yogurt, much. Yogurt enema is like a Victorian era cure for wanting to masturbate, in case anyone was wondering. Yeah, we just talked about it on Schmanners this week. Duh, everyone knows that. Do they? There's, there's so much of the internet, and I like that. There's so much of oh, it. Oh, yeah. Anything you could want, it's they. it's always there. And I'm I'm grateful for this. Tony, Where the fuck are, this is a question about the picture. Where the fuck are his ears? Tiger ears are big. Those headphones would not cover them. That's a good point. Thank you. You know what? I think I can oh, hold on. I think I can add a image if you all would like to see. Yes, please. Are you going to drop the? It's important for me to know which channel you're going to put this in. Yeah, because live, less, love. I baby. don't want it to be our public company chat. No, because that I'm will put it into this, into this, in into this. Oh boy! Yeah, yeah that's, that's just is. okay. When you said you were about to drop a pic, you told us that you were on the deep web and that oh, you yeah, found yeah, a Tony yeah. the no, Tiger no, no, no. picture. This is just okay, a picture of the thing. I just want to say, go. man, it's a good setup, Tony. It's a good yeah, streamer Tony, setup. His, his PC really is. Good. I don't know if you guys noticed this. His PC is milk cooled. That's so cool. That's fucking That's so funny. cool. Now, I, I will say, da, 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 not da, 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 a great da. microphone, Tony. You could do better. Yeah, do yeah. better, Tony. You got a lot of money. I want a munch squad. I want to munch squad. Welcome to Munch Squad. It's a podcast within a podcast. Profiling the latest grace of brain eating. I know we've been doing it for a little while, but this feels like intro. munch fraud. No, I didn't do the intro, so it was irritating me. I want oh. to go very quickly, very quickly about the uh, this uh, KFC Thailand is introducing a modernist Mother's Day gift idea: the KFC Chicken Pop Garland, celebrating National Mother's Day with a twist. No, cool. All right, y'all. I'm normally I would build to the picture of it, but I'm just gonna like. Uh, I'm just gonna, sh sh I'm just gonna show you the picture, okay? Uh, here we go. Okay, so this is the KFC Pop Garland, huh? I like this. Just for the record, I want to go on record and say before I know anything else about it that I do like it. What is it? KFC Thailand is helping you celebrate like never before, introducing our Mother's Day gift idea: KFC Chicken Pop Garland. The kernel's crispy, edible blooms were crafted in partnership with HeartMade, one of the most coveted floral studios. This unique creation combines the assortment of mom's beloved items, like her favorite menu, KFC chicken pop, flowers, and veggies she cooks for the family. What? Everyone can create their own unique heart-made chicken pop garland for mom. Well, that's nice. First of all, that's the customization is nice. I appreciate it. I 
guess I don't know what a garland is. Um, yeah, it's fascinating. I think we're up against, I mean, I know what a garland is here and how we would use that, but I think we're up against, it's interesting to see the sort of like cultural, like, I want to say ruining, like ruining cultures that I don't even, I haven't even gotten a chance to understand what this actually is before KFC has gotten to it and, ru- yes. and kind of ruined because it. Because to me, you know I mean? this it's picture it. looks like a tiny wreath or maybe something I would looks put on like a, a doorknob. a tiny wreath of, of chicken, of popcorn chicken. I mean, on a garland August, can be a wreath. Now, can I also tell you guys what's fucking with me? What? Yeah. How is it held together that I can still eat it? Right? Barbed wire, weirdly, <clears throat> sharing the uh, aromatic, crispy, juicy fried chicken ensures quality family time. And the scrumptious bites just speak louder than words. Is it like a candy necklace kind of thing? That is what it seems. You'll get to reminisce about the school days when you get to craft your own gift for mom. Most <clears throat> importantly, do not drool over the garland. Just hashtag save chicken pop for mom. And let her enjoy the moment with the scrumptious heart made treat. You know what I love about kitchen. that? That's a hashtag that applies to so many different situations. That's going to catch on outside of In this. You know way. what I mean? Like, that's going to be like the new hashtag blessed. Uh, I'm looking the, at this and I do want a ring shaped fried chicken experience. It seems I like it would be like easy to, to take it. on the go. Yeah, the you could have one in each th- hand, like you're like you're fucking in Tron or something. Yeah, I like, like that. a bracelet. Yeah, man. Yeah, uh, we're several like a bracelet. The Garland, their Garland tutorial and giveaway activity are on Facebook and TikTok Live. Wait, no, so by by up Poompat Lam Samang, a famous Thai young actor, uh, is is the one doing it. Now, if you look, I'm going to show you a picture of this cat. And tell me if you think that the uh, the the crafts that this this person is able to do, you would be able to replicate it in any way. No. Like, they look so much more capable than no, me. Absolutely. Look, look at how they dress absolutely themselves. Absolutely beautiful. Like, I would never be able to keep up with that person. Can like, I, they'd be like, nugget, 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 nugget. I'm like, wait, sl- slow down, please. It also occurs to me, know. is this a full DIY? I, so this isn't like... Yes, I think you are getting the components for this. It's not clear in the thing, but I think you're getting the components for this. Well, which is yes. the popcorn chicken. Well, I think right. all you're getting is the popcorn chicken. <laughs> right. I think they're just selling... E- what they're saying is, here's chicken. <laughs> here's some chicken. chicken. Do here's what chicken thou wilt. Right. Because here's the thing. They can't sell you a chicken bracelet no like legally they can't no, sell you they chicken can't. bracelet because you're going to chomp into that and get the wire or twine or thread best or case scenario be- that's best case scenario that is holding that ring together and that's just a lawsuit waiting to waiting to happen um it's not even waiting that's just going to be a lawsuit pretty much day one there will be a class action sort of yeah i ate the thread i ate the thread. yeah i ate I, the wire i did eat sorry it. Um, I thought it Why was would food. they sell it if it's not part of the thing? KFC, our relationship historically is that I give them money and they give me food in exchange and I eat all of it. I eat everything they give me. I know about the bucket. Like, I'm not an idiot. And I've always been up in the air about bones, frankly, because dogs eat them, right? So yeah. I don't know, but I don't think dogs are supposed to eat them, right? So isn't that, oh. It's, it, it, I am easily tricked. Uh, another quick question? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. I have, y'all, my tabs right now are a blasted land. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it is, it is, it is, I'm trying so desperately to find something that I recognize. It's just Tony the Tiger and chicken bracelets all the way down. Hey, uh, dun, 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 dun. oh, is this it? What? I want to munch squad. I want to munch squad. Welcome to Munch Squad's podcast. This has a podcast profile and the latest and the greatest in brand eating. I am your co-host, Justin McElroy. With me as always is Justin McElroy. What? And today, there could be only one. Yes. I was on pins and needles. Yes, how welcome to the pumpkin portal. We're taking the pumpkin portal to fall, you guys. This now, is uh, this. Can is, I just say real it? quick note, Justin? Yeah. Uh, I think they lack courage in their convictions because they put to fall at the bottom. Should have just been pumpkin portal. Yeah. Welcome to the pumpkin portal to fall. Nope. Oh, to fall. Nope. you undid it. 
Yep. Just just have the strength of your convictions. This is the Starbucks back with the PSL. And uh, we're celebrating in the different weird ways that Starbucks always celebrates the return of the pumpkin spice latte. You'll remember one year they had a dial in number of that course. you could call and hear pumpkin stories. Remember uh, that? Yes, I do. We called live on air, if I remember correctly. This year, we're going to the pumpkin portal. You guys are going to be challenged right here live. The pumpkin portal has terms of service <laughs> at the bottom skipped and them. a privacy policy. <laughs> yeah, skipped them. Okay, so we're going to use the emoji keyboard to answer fall riddles. This is going to be. And you earn pumpkins for correct answers. Okay. Yeah. It, okay. You ready? It's going to be funny audio. start with three chances. After three incorrect guesses, it's back to the top. Guess what? This is a picture of an apple. What would oh, you guess I, it is? It's an apple. It says delicious fall fruit. May keep the doctor away. I'm going to say apple. Okay. Pumpkin, apple, or cherry fill this fall treat. Can you do the Hi. dancer, the the what? the person in the red dress dancing? A red dress dancing? No, How it's pie. S- airplane. No, pie. it's pie. Justin, do it. Air- okay, that's a empanada. Will empanada count? Uh, click empanada. Pie. It's, it's kickoff, kickoff time, time for, for this, this fall, fall sport. sport. Light ball. Rugby. Leg ball and rugby. I no, said light uh, bulb, but leg ball is exclusively <laughs> what I'm calling soccer. Type leg. Rugby. Just type leg. Leg. Yeah. Leg. Leg. Okay. So well, now just put click a picture of a, no, not a turkey leg, like a leg. Got me. Okay, this the yellow, yellow leg. Yeah, yeah. Click the leg. This is gonna be right. Trust me. Click it and then guess that. Okay, we can just choose a skin tone. That's nice. I love that. We'll it's weird just... if the answer does depend on the correct skin tone of the skin leg. Skin tone, right? Okay, so it wasn't that. Okay. Oh, weird. Right. Oh, wait a minute. Foosball. No. Oh, so close. Sometimes they spell it wrong. Try it with a T. Yeah, I think. I so. think hockey season actually kicks off this. Well, time there's too. a golden football with it. Oh, what changes color in fall? My hair. Me, me. If I'm down at the beach. Yeah. Get my base. T- your base. What color. changes color? Skin. Well, a lot of things do. Cars. The sky. Yeah. A uh, pie see, after you bake. bake it. Leaf, leaf, leaf. What? No, wrong, wrong leaf, leaf, idiot. Why is it a wrong leaf? It's just a leaf. The answer is leaf. It's a leaf. Well, try the fall leaf. Do a Christian cross. <laughs> you carry, you carry your all to- your back to school supplies in this. Well, this is hands. Hand. Oh yeah. Oh, a fist. Oh, it's very okay. Strong. Going. Mm hmm. Dang it. That okay, wasn't well, it. We had a good run. Oh, oh no. no we were oh, in- we died. I didn't know we could die in the game. Yeah, you died. What happens this- if you win? You see the old prospector from, uh, or the undertaker from Mad Dog McCree, and he, he comes out, buries you. You've run out of time reversal cubes. Yeah. Don't stop beliefing, it says. Okay. I, you would just make. Okay, our f- our score is four. We got four mm. pumpkins. And we're foliage friendly. You sleep to the sound oh, of Oh, I did it on my own, Justin, and I got all of them right, and it called me a pumpkin fucker. Yeah. It said you. So the PSL is back now. <laughs> this is just a public service announcement. It's topped with whipped cream. It's got pumpkin spices. Hot no way. Ice are blended. I mean, the whole bit. I mean, the whole bit. But what? It, got, it, there's pumpkin spice, obviously. But what is it? What? What are the other drinks, Justin, that they're partnering the pumpkin spice experience with? Well, there's a pumpkin cream cold brew, Ooh. which is back for another new year. I like that one. And it's a fan. That one's a fan favorite. Which, yeah, I get if nasty. If you keep for bringing something back four times, then I would hope that fans enjoy it because otherwise, I don't know what you're doing with all that pumpkin cold brew oh shit i could be buying pumpkin flavored beer right now yeah you should be actually mm, um okay. oh they've got some festive fall merchandise uh just so you know they're uh dipping into the starbucks coffee reserves i mean it's it's gonna be a big fall over there i don't know that we have but isn't that drink. are they trying to lower the price of coffee by the gallon what do you mean to open up the reserves no, it's like a fancier coffee. It's like a better, fancier They coffee. have better coffee, and they're just like, we could be giving you better coffee than what we have, but we're holding this back, you dirty birds. I mean, it's a commodity, right? Supply and demand. You can pay for the as good of a coffee as you can afford. You guys like uh, pumpkin spice lattes? Basic. Nah, not really my thing. Basic much. Get up. Why don't you go watch Friends? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, where's your floppy hat? Where's your floppy friend's what? hat? Your floppy friends hat that you watch. <laughs> well, you drink your in. public your public spice. <laughs> when you drink your public spices, <laughs> fucking basic. Talk about how friends is better than New Girl for reasons. I like, I like uh, 
Coke Zero. Yeah. Con- sophisticated. Eat a plain from, scone for from jelly. Don't have a flavor. Don't have no a flavor. flavor. The jelly, the jelly is flavorless too. Yeah, just it's, a flavorless scone with a flavorless it's jelly a, it's in your wet. floppy friend's hat. It's can I get a scone with wet? Is what I just say when I go to Starbucks. So, sopping a wet, wet scone. scone. Give just me put plain, it on top of my hat. plain flavor with a wet scone, please. I want to meet Gunter while I'm wearing my floppy hat and I eating my do. flavorless scone, I and then we're gonna do. fall in love. Just to recap real quick, just so you know what's going on. Pop Belly's got a pumpkin spice shake. Um, Hardy's is making a beer. I mean, the what? usual. The usual. What? Hardy's yeah, making beer Hard- is fun. Yeah, Hardy's is teamed with Southern Grist Brewing Company on a strawberry biscuit ale. So it's like, you ever uh, eat a strawberry biscuit at Hardy's and think, God, I wish this get me wrecked. Yeah, dude. Well, now your dreams can come true. Yeah, drink a delicious beer that is actually a biscuit from Hardee's, all mushed up and fermented. Delicious. Does anyone else on this call or in the world have the experience of it becomes fall? You get really excited. You buy like fall beer, uh, so you buy a bunch of it, and then you have like six of them in a week or whatever, and you're like, "Oh, I'm tired of this already." Pretty and then sure those pumpkin beers sit in your fridge for many months until it gets to be like summer, and you're like, "Well, I haven't been to the store in a while." And I'm out of here. So you crack open like a pumpkin beer in the middle of July and you're like, oh, this actually is terrible. I hate this. Yeah. But then fall comes around again and you're like, oh, hell yeah, pumpkin beer season. Yeah, that's sort of just the futility of of it all, huh? Yeah, man. There's an Artemis Moon Donut at Krispy Kreme. A what? Delicious. Yeah, it was a one-day special for the to celebrate the planned launch of Artemis One, can you and they fun. fucking post? I have beef with NASA because I get my kid, I get my class together, and sit in front of the big TV screen, <laughs> and I say they're about to shoot that shit right up into outer space. It's got nobody on it, which is wasteful. It's like, do you see cars on the highway with no one in them? Emissions much? And I was, my class was psyched. And then at the last minute, they were like, something was wrong with one of the engines. So we didn't do it. And it's like, no one's in the rocket. If it does a big explode, my class is going to talk, like, remember that forever and talk about now, that. Now, I, I didn't know there was no one in it. And that actually explains to me why they were so candid about the engine problems. Because you know, if that's a manned mission, they don't just say, like, we had it, engine. We they were this close. Right, we, we well, almost because then, shuffled a few. There was a big whoopsie <laughs> that Devin should have caught, and he didn't. And if that shit had gone up there, it would have been yikes, city, end of astronauts. <laughs> Imagine being oh, an astronaut who's like on that, and they're like, "Yeah, we had a lot of mechanical issues, but it'll be fine by tomorrow. Get ready to go!" And you're like, <laughs> "What? No." It is still kind of hilarious. I understand what happens. I'm basic. I've watched a lot of different movies, but it is kind of funny that we're gonna bla- like blast a rocket into the sky. It's cost like billions of dollars to get to this point, and then it starts raining, and everyone's like, "Fuck!" Fuck. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> Never mind. No, 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 no. No, no. Sorry, no. sorry. We tried to oppose your will. With our incredible brains, you win. Just, is this, you is it bad it. for the rocket? No, it's just no. That we wanted that morning glow on it when we took all the pictures, and we and like been so staging it. We put a bunch of like doilies around it and when stuff. When the rocket get wet, it looks <laughs> it looks <laughs> so stupid. dumb. The its hair gets really off. flat. <laughs> the decals get loose. It's just, everything gets what? wrinkled. <laughs> There's a lot of wet steam rocket. when the rocket goes. So. If you the wet rock, they do that. They do that if for takeoff, but they don't do it for landing. Yeah, they're never like it's raining. Go around. <laughs> 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 We're gonna reroute you to Phoenix. You, we've been we've been thwarted. Take another Madagascar lap is to die dry. Off. Take a left. <laughs> Go to the ocean. Go People to, are watching. Be careful. There's a reason they don't fish the rockets out of the ocean once they do go splash smash. And that's because they look so fucking stupid. Wet. Yeah, like a wet penis. They yeah, sink. it's a big stupid. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. Justin, do one of your classic bits. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you sure? Yeah, make yeah. it funny. 
Oh, yeah, okay. Um, can I just read a... Okay. Yeah! Yeah! I want to munch. Squat! I want to munch. Squat! Welcome to Munch Squat. It's a podcast of the podcast profiling the latest and greatest brand. Eating... Uh, just We've real quick, because to... I'm trying to highlight what great job you guys are doing, Griffin. When yeah. you said squad, you sounded exactly like uh, like Toad from the Mario games, and I loved it. Oh, and did I really? really? Yeah. Was that Does he yell squad a lot? No, I don't think he said squad, but just like the way he would do it, it made me really happy. There is a low helicopter over my house right now. Oh, I think they found it, you. I think it might be Joe. Oh, he's landing? Be, I think it might be Joseph Gordon Biden. McDonald's introduces cheese Danish to bakery menu. I just want to mention this very briefly because the lead on it says it's giving fans a tasty way to switch up their seasonal routines in a world of pumpkin, maple, and pecan. Burn them down. So I just love that McDonald's is like, are you going to go with the pack? Or yeah. Are you going to go to McDonald's? <laughs> <laughs> are you, are you going to be a free thinker? Or are you going to go to McDonald's? Another quick brief. I just want to say... Uh, tell Wingstop to fuck off because they came out with a chicken sandwich. What? Like, just go, just go ahead and Wait. put it out. No problem. You're an Th- your name is yourself. Wingstop. You're an infant tickling yourself with a razor. You don't know what you're doing. The- Wingstop entered the chicken. S- How many more? How many more? It's cost actual lives. I'll keep saying it till it sinks in. They're offering their sandwich in the brand's 12 bold and distinct flavors. Wingstop quickly revealed that customers have been constrained to a category of bland, where their only options are plain or spicy breaded sandwich. The flavor craving is real, with Wingstop selling out its entire supply at 1,600 U.S. locations in a matter of days, beating out Super Bowl Sunday transaction levels. Wow. Some key stats. Are you guys ready for this? They sold over a million chicken sandwiches in six days. Is that a lot, though? Because I don't know... Yeah, I don't know either. There's a lot of facts like this. I mean, it's seems, like, it seems like a lot to me. Like if someone said you have to eat a million chicken sandwiches in six days, I'd be like, that's too many, right? Um, they sold out of a, this. This one. This one gets me. They sold out of a four week supply in so, just six days, with some restaurants wiped of supply in as little as two days. I'm just gonna come out and say it. This is a new product. You sent. You sent them a six day supply. Yeah. Proven. What were it's you not basing? A four week supply. Yeah. You, what were you basing that day. number on? Yeah, it's a six day supply. That's it. We sent That's them it. some. Why do these places insist on bragging about their poor supply chain? Yeah, it's brutal. Also, First, how did you run out? It's chicken on a sandwich. Did you, yeah. like, you killed all the chickens you had? <laughs> like, what happened? <laughs> you did a bad job. These how did you run not, out? These eggs are not. Hatching fast enough. How long does it take you to get more chickens to the restaurant if on day one it wasn't like, oh, we used up a lot of them today. Send more. Here's another one. Exceeded chicken sandwich sales expectations by 300%. That's a fucking cool way of saying you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Like you don't believe in ourselves. you You should probably get somebody who can guess, who can take a bite of a sandwich and be like, yeah, they'll buy like a thousand of these. No yeah. problem. <laughs> like you should probably hire that person to tell you the viral marketing campaign for this. And I'm sure you all heard about it. It was number Absolutely. three trending on Twitter. Yeah. With all 100K free sandwich codes in giveaway called Chicken Sandwich Split claimed in under a day. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. A million sandwiches sold. A hundred thousand of them were free. Seems a little inflated to me, everybody. Seems like they're trying to boost the juice uh, just a bit. Just a little bit. Maybe also, once you them... knew all 100,000 coupons were claimed, why weren't you like, we should make more? We're, gonna we're need probably going to need more. We've written so many chicken checks. We have got, and people are going to cash them. They I'm are so going angry. to, they are literally going to come home to roost, and we must be ready for them. We have put them all in one basket, and I'm angry at ourselves for doing that. Why didn't someone There's warn so us There's so many before? idioms about knowing how many chickens or birds you have on hand at any given time. There's a lot of them, more than any other object. 
Heads up, Sam, if you go to wingstop.com, which, by the way, traffic doubled over its usual rate at wingstop.com. If you go, there's a big banner ad that just says, heads up, sandwich lovers. The new chicken sandwich is sold out. Oh. Sorry, we fucked up so bad, it says, but we really did, we really got cucked by all you sandwich-loving maniacs, <laughs> it's, and I'm it, sorry. It's supply chain issue. We ran out of uh, microchips to put into the sandwiches, and we got to wait for more to come in from overseas. That's on the us. Launch of, <laughs> the launch of our Wingstop chicken sandwich in 12 flavors exceeded our expectations on all fronts, says disgraced CEO Michael Skipworth, <laughs> <laughs> who doesn't even know if his chicken sandwich is good or not. So so he only does a million of them. People are wild about these things. Our craveable product and viral campaign drove unprecedented, extraordinary demand for both our core guests as well as brought in a lot of new Wingstop fans to the brand. But don't Thanks worry, to... we we just squandered all that potential <laughs> by then not having any more to sell them. So they any were coming by any kind of goodwill. And notoriety we are gaining by popularity was then crushed as someone came in on day seven of selling a new product <laughs> that we said, oh, it's out. No, no. We, we don't have any more. We didn't think anybody liked chicken and bread. Thanks to strong, trusted relationships with supplier partners, we mm -hmm. anticipate having chicken sandwich supply back at restaurants soon. Oh. So fans and new guests alike can get their hands on this new favorite chicken sandwich. So you can really I, capitalize on this moment two weeks later. Yeah, they can prey upon our weakness. Uh, chicken sandwich seekers can be alerted of restocks by Get signing out. up for Wingstop. Oh, my God. Get out. Get out of the town. Can you imagine? My wife asks me every time I get an email, and it makes the little email sound. She's just like, just being curious, taking interest in my life. Who's that? And I would have to say, like, oh, good news. <laughs> oh, baby. Actually, I can't fucking talk to you right now. I have to get the You're car. already halfway out the door. Now, you don't have any shoes on. What are you doing? I don't care. You don't understand. Chicken sandwich seekers can be alerted to restocks by signing up for Wingstop's digital database, where, once back, it can be purchased at a compelling value of five forty nine dollars for an a la carte sandwich with a dip or seven ninety nine dollars for the combo with fries and a drink. Hey, guys. Charge more! <laughs> you <laughs> fucked up! Charge three times? You did a six six days, four week supply. You're charging one fourth as much as you should be. Charge $30, $30 for the sandwich. Yeah. Or make them a quarter smaller. Like Just there's a one quarter the size. Sandwiches. These are yeah. sliders now. Sliders. They're sliders. We're cutting at I heard there was one restaurant where the demand was so bad that they started cutting the chicken sandwiches in half. And they were charging people full price, but they cut the chicken sandwich in half. Then they ran out of halves and they started cutting them into force. And then they realized, wait a minute, we've passed out many more sandwiches than we should have. And they went back to the back. And there was more wedges of chicken sandwich. And they just kept cutting, and there just kept being more chicken sandwich. Did you guys hear about that? That happened at Wingstop. God's not dead. <laughs> 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 He's at Wingstop. He's at Wingstop. <laughs> and even he can't get this fucking sandwich. No, 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 no. I do want a fucking chicken sandwich now, though. Yeah, I always can't. do. That's we all can't. anybody we ever wants. We cannot rekindle. We cannot rekindle the flame of war yeah, i'm we've moved on oh yeah what? what where am i what happened what what did happen? what's going on who are you two my name is Dr. Sam Bat. No, I, I was just thinking, like, wouldn't it be cool if he quantum leaped in here? How would he explain? He doesn't normally introduce himself like that. I think that would kind of break the concept of the this show. This is the first. Yeah, yeah. That he, he leaps did. in and he's like, I'm not the dude. I want to munch. Squad. I want to munch. Squad. Welcome to Munch Squad. It's a podcast within a podcast profiling the latest and greatest in brand eating. Y'all got Frio's Gourmet Pops around your, your area? No. Frito's Gourmet Pops? Sorry. It's very confusing. F-R-I-O-S, lowercase f, 
if you please. Okay. That sounds yes. like you're saying Fritos, but you're in a terrible hurry. <laughs> this fr- Zaxby's, the premium quick service restaurant beloved for its chicken fingers, wings, and legendary Zax sauce, has partnered with <laughs> Alabama-based gourmet popsicle brand Fritos to introduce sauce-flavored popsicles. No. Zaxby's sauce sickles will be ab- available for free. I'm assuming they mean on from a monetary perspective they will be free, not from the yeah. toll it will take on you as a, to as a eat person. eat just cold sauce. <laughs> the frozen treat will feature two of the brand's boldest sauces, Zax sauce and Tongue Torch. <sighs> Do um, you guys want to see him real quick while we're while we're chatting about this? Give me one sec. I don't know if I actually do. I mean, I guess it's just a popsicle, right? How gnarly could it look? I'm been pretty gnarly. Cause I I'm... just feel like it looks kind of gnarly. Like the look. No, gnarly. I mean these these look, these look no, like normal. I mean, if they didn't say tongue, think torch... about Zach sauce though. Like, what would that? Think about how much of that flavor. I don't think you're I know what Zach sauce. Zach yeah, sauce man. is the Zach sauce flavored sauce sickle features all the sweet, tangy, and creamy flavors from the signature blend of spices, black pepper, and Worcestershire sauce. Oh, that's no. I'm good. I'm all right actually without that. The tongue torch sauce sickle is a mild heat tomato pop with nuts of garlic, paprika, turmeric, and a hint of lime. Zaxby's has renamed the month of September Sauce Timber, which okay. I don't think you could just That's do. That's not a portmanteau. I mean, listen, guys, Congress has been getting stuff done lately. And what? this seems This, this seems, seems like a worthy worth federal it. holiday. Oh, we don't work in September. That's when we think about sauces that we enjoy. All day. Uh, Zaxby's is celebrating Sauce Timber, which they made up by treating uh-huh. its loyal fan base to this saucy goodness on a stick. The sauce sickles come packs of eight and are limited to one per person. Can I just stop you there, Jamie, and say are I you don't think me this place will give you eight free popsicles? That's a lot. Well, that's because so many. Th- the right? only way that that works is if they tasted the first one and said, "We can't fucking sell this. <laughs> no, we can't. <laughs> Why do no, make guys, we yeah. need eight million of these fucking things. We, we have get to them. give them away. I, I don't think you can call something that is frozen solid saucy." Right, yeah. it is inherently as it melts. Not. Think about that. As it melts, your hand is just covered in zest. Zest sauce. sauce. Yeah. Fuck. Let me t- the let smell. T- the very smell. If it gets on your be... skin, yeah. Like as you're eating it, that's you yeah. all day. You that, can't wash your hands here's, enough. Here's what's up though. Like if you go, it, they'll be available for free on September 19th online f- through saucesickles dot com. Okay. So if you're like listening to this, like. Go get some. Take a picture. You know what I mean? Like, do I don't live near a Zaxby's. It's kind of a road trip treat for me. Like, you know. What I mean? Good oh, luck. God. Good luck spelling sauce sickles, oh. though. Oh, man. Go to saucesickles.com. They're like melting in a puddle. Oh, God. Oh, God. I've tried And the Zax different... sauce is it's like a creamy. Oh, God. Oh, God. I've tried three different spellings of saucesickles.com, and none of them have gotten me there. Even in this picture, it doesn't say the word. Yeah. Now, let me tell you how they could have really made something special is if they had called them Zaxby's Prank Sickles. And then all of a sudden, it's a nice uh, 4th of July BBQ, and you have your you know nephew, D- Dillip, who you fucking hate. Oh, and yeah. you're like, enjoy a creamy treat, Dillip. And, but then he gets the spicy... Uh, ch- uh, chicken flavor. Well, but now he got to talk to his dad, Jormy. And you and Jormy, Jormy have never been up. really close. Can yeah, I, he loves it. One other brief with you all. Please? Another, this just came across my desk. Chipotle to offer garlic guajillo steak in the metaverse for a limited time. Wait, did you say in the metaverse? I don't remember. Chipotle Mexican Grill today announced that its new garlic guajillo steak will be available at Chipotle restaurants across the U.S. and Canada and virtually in the metaverse for a limited time. <laughs> the brand's latest menu innovation introduces an entirely new flavor profile to Chipotle's menu featuring tender cuts of steak seasoned with the bold flavors of garlic and guajillo peppers. Earlier today, Chipotle became the first restaurant brand to officially unveil a new menu item in the metaverse Hooey. by debuting, <laughs> debuting garlic guajillo awesome. steak through the Chipotle grill simulator experience on Roblox. How? How? On Roblox, you say? Yes. Yes. 
if you go to roblox.com slash chipotle you can visit you can visit visit a virtual chipotle can you imagine that should be a trick where like if you do that your bank just automatically gets notified and shuts down like closes off your bank accounts like you you are not responsible enough for this you can't you just spent you just spent $500 $500 on Roblox to skip a few levels of the Chipotle obby. You're done. <laughs> Please, you can't. The, your money is ours now. We'll give it back to you on Tuesday. <laughs> this, is, this is the government. This is the shadow government. We've come out of hiding. We're for this worried one, about you. This one, even this the shadow seem like, government is worried about you. This seems like an infringement upon your rights, but it's good. It's a good one for you. Hello, this is the machines for the Matrix. We are waking you up, and we are going to give you a nice chair to sit in. We're very worried about you, Battery. Hey, can we talk? Battery. I know, we're giant machines or whatever. Yeah. But well, do you feel like you're making you good choices? I'm worried about we're, you. We're concerned. Um, so uh, that is happening in the in the metaverse. I, I don't want to read about the menu innovation. Garlic guajillo steak pairs a familiar craveability of garlic with the allure of guajillo. I don't care. Get to the digital Roblox steak. Into an awesome protein with a slight kick. This does sound good, though. I'm starting Do to I have it. Roblox on my phone? I don't. Chipotle premiered its new menu innovation on Roblox today at 7 a.m. P.T., with Chipotle Grill The simulator. burrito hour. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm reaching for, burrito. They wanted to make sure they got all those school kids before they had to get to class so those school <laughs> yeah. kids could All get they're in. talking about, guys, no, look, all the toppings are here. What? No <laughs> way, Derek. They, no one's ever yeah. revealed a new menu item in the metaverse. It's a, it just doesn't, it doesn't happen. Hey, um, can I pull back the curtain a little bit and just yeah. be honest for a moment? Is the metaverse just like the way people are referring to like the internet now? Or How much longer this... do we have on the? It looks like we could go about ten minutes on this. Do you want to, Travis? Because is the Roblox? I thought the metaverse was just what Zuckerberg was doing. What? How deep does it go? It's it's, it's what's like, next. It's not funny. <laughs> is the one thing I'll say. I mean, it's kind of fun. Now, Griffin, what are you doing? Are you looking up the metaverse on your phone? I'm on. I'm trying to log into Roblox, but it's been a while, so oh, I don't yeah, know my don't account, my login information. Uh, Can I go into the Roblox. metaverse and eat the steak? Um, um, do you have whoa, Mark that's Zuckerberg? True. That's true. Can you, we get Joey Pants to say, like, actually, the steak in the metaverse is is delicious? I told you all. Now, do you have Mark Zuckerberg's special flavor harmonica attachment for the Oculus? Yeah, you do. It yeah. slots right into the bottom, and it looks like a regular harmonica, but it's got different flavors inside of it. And then yeah. you just suck them out as you, like, you'll walk toward the giant burrito in the Chipotle experience, and it'll be like, suck, pepper, suck, flour. And then you get, like, those flavors in your mouth, and it's suck, beef. Yeah. Um. Oh, okay. Juice, thank you. Thank you, Juice. Yeah, of course you have. Of course you have Roblox ready to go. So we're just uh, we've just installed Roblox here, and now I'm in the virtual Chipotle. So this okay. is the metaverse. So this is the metaverse, Trav. God, I wish you guys knew how loud, <laughs> how loud the, <laughs> the metaverse music is in my ears. <laughs> the metaverse so is so chip- loud. <laughs> okay, so I'm at the Chipotle restaurant. And there's a, yeah. oh, they got a drink fountain. No brand. That you are running into. <laughs> God, I will say, like, there's a lot. Of Hi people there, here. I'm your fellow Chipotle crew member, and I could use your burrito rolling skills. First, let's get you a uniform so you can what? get started. That's for sucks. children. If you own enough burritos, you can unlock free exclusive virtual items and earn burrito bucks to purchase in game. You items. have to work in the metaverse? Yeah. Well, if you want cool burrito clothes. This is just different uniforms you can buy to work at Chipotle hey, in the game. Yeah. Okay, you guys ready? Yeah. Oh All Lord. right, Justin. This oh, is gonna be so, great. It's so loud. There's gotta be white, 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 white rice, white rice. No, not black beans. White rice. Put that. Justin? Okay, now black, black beans. beans. Black you beans. You are going so far. Now, of so course, he wants garlic a new steak. steak. So far, corn. so good. Corn. 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 Okay, the, corn. It's rolling past me too cheese. fast. Cheese. Cheese? Cheese. Okay, I'll put cheese on it. Now, roll. how do I roll? Now, roll. Okay. Damn it. Fold that roll. shit. Justin, you have one second. Eat your burrito. Okay, oh, I can't watch close. this anymore. This is that too distracting. Uh, okay. Oh, close Roblox. Okay. Okay. Okay, sorry. It was so, so that's loud, the metaverse. Guys. That's the that's metaverse. what the metaverse is. That's Travis. What the metaverse. You, you get is. to work at Chip- you get to work at Chipotle and not get paid. You, well, you get paid in imaginary Chipotle script, 
essentially is what we're talking about. And in real life, as your character rolls that, in real life, there's a robot somewhere that you're controlling that's rolling it, right? So like like in war games? And sometimes they don't even tell the flesh human Chipotle employees that the robot's there. And so there have been countless accidents where the robot thinks it's making a, a burrito, but really it's like rolling up the bones of the poor Chipotle employee. Based but entirely meta- off of that's... that in- information, the metaverse sucks. By launching garlic guajillo steak in the metaverse, we're able to share our culinary traditions and real More like food, culinary. And real food proposition with Gen Z, says Chris Brandt, uh, chief marketing Desperate officer. Desperate person. <laughs> Desperate relic <laughs> through a <laughs> through a sheen of sweat, he, <laughs> he bellows down the halls. For the first time, fans can discover our latest menu innovation from our head chef with an immersive experience that blends the best of Chipotle's digital and physical worlds. Our head chef, Cyber Mike. <laughs> I love they don't burritos. Say that, they don't say that this burrito can't exist in real life. They don't, they don't say that that it's structurally impossible to make this burrito with tan with a tangible tortilla. Um, um, it's too heavy, the toppings. I will say, though, you can unlock uh, virtual items, exclusive virtual items, as I have just done, which yeah. includes Chipotle's iconic chef coat, Cool. The, the Nom Nom Aura, and oh. a Guajillo Tea. Yeah, you roll up to adopt me wearing one of those. People are going to sh- give you the respect you need, that you deserve. So that is what, that's what, that's Web 3.0, Travis. Should we, should we do another question? Meta, that's what the metaverse is. Also, if you try to take a pumpkin, you then... Burn it at Peter's might come out and make your make your balls shrivel up. Yeah, with her magic, with her magic, with her magic. Yeah, I want a munch. Squash. Shape out to be a long one. I want to munch. Squash. Squash. Stretch him out. Welcome to Munch Squad. It's podcast within a podcast profile, latest and greatest in brand eating. And this one makes me so fucking angry because I oh. had I was just gonna do a fun little count donut about some like stupid Krispy Kreme whatever, and I was just gonna have some fun. That sounds nice. Schlotzky's won't allow me to do that. Schlotzky's? Schlotzky's is still yeah. in the fucking mix. Not in Huntington. The Huntington one closed, but somewhere they're out there doing their sandwich business. Jesus and you Christ! Know how I if know a sandwich I... place can't stay afloat in Huntington, like get out of the full Start game. Now, to be get fair, we also over. lost the Quiznos. We lost the Quiznos. Too high and People couldn't wait for the toasting. Yeah, yeah that's true. Uh, then there was a New York bagel company there, and now it's a place where you drink wine and paint. All right. Um, you pay to do it, not just like. Oh, never there. mind. Yeah, I can fair. I can drink wine and paint at home Schlossky's... for free. Schlotzky's unveils new bare naked pizza. No. Why wait until October 1st to celebrate National Pizza Month? These things are already fake. You can't say, like, don't hold off until the fake that, like, also, the fake no thing one's is only... doing that. No, no one's, one's like, that. fuck, you know what I'd love to eat right now? Pizza. pizza. But of course, not until October when it's legal. Schlotzky's is undressing. Not until the pizza, pizza purge, <laughs> beginning October 1st. <laughs> Schlotzky's is undressing pizza and giving crust lovers the celebratory moment they deserve with its new bare naked pizza. Imagine a pizza so bold and flavorful it can be enjoyed without toppings, cheese, or sauce. That's in bread! Other words, in other words, no, you, Travis, you fucking idiot. <laughs> it's not bread. It's naked pizza. No. That is, did they forget to order toppings and now they got to find a way to cover that up? Or is it it like, oh, 20 years ago. Look, guys, it's bare naked pizza. No. Guys, it's bare naked pizza. Justin, I'm irate. I'm mad at you. 
I'm mad at Schlossky's, and for some reason, I'm mad at Bare Naked Ladies. And I know they yeah, had nothing to do with this. They were always going to get dragged into this, though, Travis. That's a great point. Um, no, it's the Bare Naked Pizza. You know how sometimes when you pick up a tomato and you say, ooh, naked sauce? It's like it's just like that. It's uh-huh. one step before the thing. So the uh, Schlossky's is undressing its pizza. Uh, for a limited time, customers can enjoy a bare naked pizza at one of Schlossky's 320 locations nationwide for just $4.99. Four. All right. How much is a regular pizza that's good and has stuff on a reminder, it? Reminder, Schlossky's deals in like personal pan. Like there, this is not a like full not size a big party pizza. Oops, all crust experience. Schlossky's is undressing its pizza one topping at a time. Bro, slow. That's not the way you would make this. There's Travis, no way. Travis, let Schlossky's Travis. give us a boner. Okay. Schlotzky's is undressing its pizza one topping at a time at a slow, salivating seduction, resulting in limited time only bare naked pizza. The beloved fast casual restaurant. That sentence didn't communicate more information. It just wanted to be sexy for a second. Yep. Because it's Schlotzky's and it wants to find it sexy and live there. The beyond and I want to empower them. I want to empower them to do like I know that Schlot- corporations aren't people, but someone at Schlotzky's is trying to figure some shit out about themselves, and they're using the work that they do as the vehicle for that discovery. I think that's beautiful and pure. Um, I, but I don't want to. I, but I don't want to pay four ninety nine for a crust round of a no cheese crust round uh, that is going to not scratch the pizza itch because it's a pe- It's actually a pizza yes. uh, instead is what we're talking about. I would also be willing to bet uh, that this uh, naked pizza comes with sauce to dip it in. There is no way that they hand you this without something to dip it in. The beloved fast casual restaurant, famous for its made in house oven baked sourdough bread, is giving customers another way to indulge by featuring mouth watering videos celebrating its unique, one of a kind sourdough pizza crust on the new Bare Naked Pizza Only Fans page. Get the fuck out. Yeah, oh, baby. I don't, need, I don't need to get the fuck out, Travis, because I'm not lying to you. <laughs> Hold on. Here it is. Oh, I hate it. The Bare Naked Pizza uh, only f- it does have a page on OnlyFans, so you can subscribe to that and see its dick. So many people were involved in that being on there. Do you know how many fucking meetings? Yes, Travis, exactly. How many meetings are like, there's had to be like three or four people who are like, we can't! We can't! <laughs> we don't come back from an OnlyFans page, we're Schlotzkys! We're not experimenting, we're Schlotzkys! We're not trying to make ends meet. Maybe they or are. Schlotzky's. I'm upset. At Schlotzky's, we're using our expertise in fresh, fresh baked sourdough to create irresistible pizza dough that we think is the best in the biz and also some very specific pornography. That's according to Schlotzky's executive chef, Jennifer Keel, who probably didn't have a hand in the OnlyFans thing. We're so confident in our delicious doughs that we're willing to serve them in their bare naked so pizza lovers can taste our perfectly crispy yet light and airy crusts in all their glory. So it's just the thing is about this is that they're selling you bread, you know? Yeah. You know it's bread. They're calling it a different thing, but it's it's, it's definitely bread. bread. It's definitely it's bread. And I, the reason I know that yeah. is that they're not selling sauce cup. Which is yes, a correct. cup of pizza sauce, and they say we're so confident about our pizza sauces tangy flavors that we have t- f- created it's a pornography website <laughs> exclusively for the for this red wet sauce, um, and we don't think we even need the bread anymore. That was stupid. That was a stupid <laughs> joke. <laughs> this sauce is where it's at. The sauce is what's up now. Sexy. <laughs> We're so like confident this? you'll love you'll love our uh, pepperonis that we open up our OnlyFans fa- page, and this one is actually really popular. <laughs> actually, yeah. it's just this, these huge long tubes of pepperoni, and we're cutting them in half with knives, and people love it. Which people like that. I don't one. know. I I'm, I'm one. excited for like two weeks from now when Slash is like releasing a press release list. Like, hey, uh, we have to stop that OnlyFans page 
because way more people subscribe to it than we are comfortable with. It's getting to be a tax issue. <laughs> like normally we love the money, but what about it's getting when you go to Schlossy's to... after this promotion and you're like, I'll have a regular pizza. And they're like, oh, fuck. Uh, so, <laughs> damn. Can you have it on a paper towel? Because <laughs> we actually did sell all the crust. <laughs> Can you eat it on a paper towel? That's our thing this month is we didn't actually figure out the supply chain issues. So um, that has to be what this is, right? Yeah, 100%. That 100% like they got too much bread. And they're Wait, like, pepperoni naked. costs how much now? Fuck. Um, oh, um, 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 um. Naked pizza. What? Uh-oh. Why is his room filling with smog and smoke? But specifically smog. I don't enjoy it's this. Haunted, it's like haunted smog and smoke. is for, uh, just, it's, a, it's a make pretend. Oh. Oh. I want to munch. Squaw. Squaw! Oh, I'm gonna put my head up too. I want to munch. Squaw! Welcome to Munch Squad. The podcast. I have a hood too. Did you see Count Donut? Travis did it like you did it. That's wonderful. You're my hero. Welcome. It's a look when I do it. It's like a like a. I'm gonna hold you. <laughs> Pretty good. Do you remember Very him? You funny, Griffin. You ever watch that? <laughs> Thanks. Oh. Thanks, Count Donut. Um, One great Beavis and Butthead reference. Thanks. I love them. Welcome to Munch Squad, the podcast within a podcast that profiles the latest and greatest in brand eating. My name is Count Donut. We've established that. And I'm here to talk to you about the latest innovations in the, the, the donut space. Before I indulge, does anyone have anything they'd like to say? I like your oh. beard. Ha Sorry, thank, you. thank you. Thank oh. you. It's new. Now that is weird because you, I thought Travis. vampires don't like age or grow or change. Or it's a Rogaine. I had it transplanted from somewhere else. Oh, when you said it's a Rogaine just now, it's so fucking weird. But <laughs> there's this other dude that comes around sometimes. I forget his name. It's something like Johnny Stink. But um, you sounded like him a little bit. Can I ask you okay. a question? I've always wondered, Count Donut, as a vampire. Yes. Let's so, dig into the lore. Obviously, as a vampire, you don't age, and so your hair wouldn't grow, right? Your body wouldn't make. So if you get a haircut and you don't like it, is it just it's, it's as you fucked. live forever, your hair cuts just get shorter and shorter until eventually all vampires shave their head bald like Nosferatu? No, Travis. The, the hair is uh, grown. Um, but fed with blood, so I swallow the blood, and then, but then that would my excretions are through my follicles. His hair. But then your your cells are making more hair, which means they're they're no, aging. No, I'm directly excreting. He pushes them out. Oh, like, like a Play-Doh play fun like thing. Like a Play-Doh yeah, exactly. fun guy. Yes. Okay. Like got the Play-Doh fun guy. That makes all Let's sense. Let's talk now. about the pink. Like what? And you you ate that last word, Let donut. Let me try again. Let's talk about pink box. Pink box? Pink box? Pink box. It's that a frequent, can't be. Yes, it's a donut manufacturer based in the Las Vegas area. Oh, of course it is. Ghouls, goblins, and donut lovers alike can get into I'm the glad that they've stopped being stuck in a binary. Good job, Pink Box. <laughs> well done, Everybody, Pink Box. Yes, can enjoy the spirit of Halloween with these not so scary but oh so delicious treats. Be sure Don't waste stop. don't waste my time with this Pink Box. Scare scare my pants off with your baked goods. First up, then if you just want a very long list of creepy donuts of varying degrees of sanity, <laughs> Pink Box has you covered. Oh good. First up is the vampire which I said like Bill from True Blood for reasons that defy explanation, vampire. It's a glazed, raised ring with vampire teeth toy and what? vampire decor. Where? In the hole? Where is it? Did they give the hole? Did they give the hole teeth? And the they're hole. not like edible teeth, right? These are plastic 
toy teeth. Please remove them before eating. I'll have my assistant Beulah pull up an image for you. One moment, Beulah! Well, this is new canon. Yeah, I don't know how I feel. Beulah! Is this like a familiar situation? Does she the pay? donuts! Uh, yeah, actually, I see a little rat, and it's typing on a keyboard. I, I, I don't know okay. why she can't make it bigger. Okay, so we're looking at all the donuts right here. I'm trying to... Don't I, skip oh, ahead. Okay. You see the okay. vampire teeth. Vampire donut. Next up. Oh, it does have a little bit more decoration than just shoving some fake teeth in it. Yeah, okay, it's not good. just a glazed it's a donut it's with bit. teeth it's in the thing. hole. They're doing, it's adorable. Vampire pool. It's a chocolate cake topped with chocolate buttercream covered with chocolate icing, Halloween sprinkles, and vampire decor, and it looks like human fecal. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. Did you say did you human vampire fecal matter? No, 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 no. The name of the I thought you said vampire pool. No, is vampire vamp pool, and not the bear. The oh, delightful bear, isn't it funny? Did how you also funny, think though? he said pool? Travis? I did. Vampire okay. poo. Okay, I think Wouldn't my brain vampire just vampire poo just be blood. What it is is yes or no hair. We've covered. <laughs> Should... Wait, hair comes out everywhere, not just the top of your head. Vision pumpkin. <laughs> Orange frosted sh raised shell topped with pumpkin decor. That one's great. That's a dead on pumpkin. I see that. That looks great. And you know what? What's great about that? Remove the little pumpkin leaf on the top. You can use that for March Madness. That's a basketball, baby. That's a basketball right there. I want, I want now to continue to draw you through my tunnel of horrors. Next up... And Travis, I apologize in advance for Spider Ring. It's actually very cute. It is pretty it's a cute. It's purple frosted vanilla cake top with spider web decor and the spider ring. Oh, that one. Yeah, I, that does nothing for me. Creepy crawler. Orange frosted raised ring top with glazed cake peewees and spider decor. That one I uh, like. That one's pretty cute, too. I like, actually. One is called I See You, and it's a white frosted dog crow topped with eyeball decor. Well, that yeah, crow, by the way, I believe dog crow. <laughs> I believe when they realized crow nut was trademarked, uh -huh. they took some other scraps of the word. <laughs> <laughs> because Dosan is also definitely taken. <laughs> Dosan is taken, so they just got in there and squished it all around. Like Can we my do good friend Frankenstein. Um, hey, I just want everyone to know that I didn't see the va the real vampire donut, and now I'm back to hating it, because it is just a glazed donut with teeth in the hole and two googly eyes on top of that. Yeah. And they can make the teeth whatever color they want. It still is a screaming donut that bites that does bite back. And now, but I, I do miserable. want Count Donut to keep going because there's a couple on here that definitely don't seem connected to Halloween. In any no, way. not at all. Next up is Boo. It's a white frosted raised ghost filled with orange. Snooze. Snore. Yeah, yes. Fine. Yeah, we, yeah we see it. Next. White. F uh, I'm going to tell you the description of this one. White frosted raised shell filled with lemon whip and topped with Jack Skellington decor. Now, I mention only this because the name of this donut is Jack Lemon, which to, <laughs> me, <laughs> <laughs> which to me is such a strange choice. <laughs> they must have known. It's so specific. It has know. to be a reference. This is the only reason you would choose this name is Jack Lemon, <laughs> who died is, in 2001. You this is the grumpier, it? grumpier old donut. Grumpy is old what the, donut. He's, he's, not, he's, not even someone I would connect with, to Halloween. This man was in a movie with Marilyn Monroe. You can't make my donut. <laughs> also, there's no way Pink Box got the rights to Jack Skellington. They get the rights to Jack Skellington and Jack Lemon for reasons that defy explanation. Why is it called Jack Lemon? Hmm. The loopy Halloween orange frosted hmm. raised bars topped with fruit loops and Captain Crunch. Yeah, th that's the one that's just like they had some of those. It looks like a coffin for a clown. Okay. Oh, they that would have called it the clown coffin. That would okay, have been so something. Good. But there's 13 donuts on here. Frankie Bar. Green they did not ring. need that they one. They did not need this mini green frosted raised bar filled with Frankenstein decor. Then there's Strawberry mummy, <laughs> strawberry frosted raised bar with mummy decor, and the Halloween mummy. 
Uh-huh. A chocolate frosted rice shell with cookies and cream topped with Oreo crumble and mummy decor. And then lastly, at the end, there's one called It's Your Birthday. It's your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> it's your birthday. They don't want kids whose birthday it is. <laughs> you know, season. so many kids with Halloween birthdays, they they don't get anything. Yeah. They get, they get nothing. nothing. They get no recognition. They get no no attention. But now Pink Box says, it's your birthday. It's, it's your birthday. That's so good. That's great. Thanks, Pink Box. And thanks to me. Thanks. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. As you know, I can only live for one night a year. <laughs> what? I mean, yes, this is the one day I could walk about the earth. And you so use it you. with us. And I spend it with you. What are you you know, do I next? don't really, I don't pity you because for you, that time you don't feel that time. Mm. You know, it's well, like you seven. Assume it's that, like Griffin. you just, you just, you, assume you just, that. you go to sleep midnight, twenty twenty two, Halloween. You wake up, you no, know, twelve oh one. The Earth every night, trying the donuts that always cause me to uh, uh, retch immediately yeah. afterwards, and the hair I cannot comes out. tolerate them, um, yeah. despite my love for them. But this is the day that I could walk amongst the sunlight. Yeah. Oh. Okay. That makes I understand now. You should check out an aquarium if you have time. Yeah. Do you know about like human stuff? Uh, sorry. What is uh, an aquarium? An aquarium is like a fish prison. What yeah. Is, it, wait. Hold on. I a water ask, zoo. A water zoo. What is a fish? Oh well, this is actually well, really interesting because there's not a scientific. Me, water class. kills me, so I. But like, uh, well, a water kills me, so I've never seen a fish. Okay. Now wait, hold on, s- hold on, hold on, hold on. Not Go even ahead. like in a book, or like they when you were alive at some point why before you got read? turned. What would I read? Why would I read? Why need I read? But you didn't yeah. start off as like this spectral form, right? You were alive at. Some I don't know point. why you're trying to tell had, I, Count Donut it, things I about himself. I forgot how to read, and I've never thought to relearn. I have no cause for knowledge. You don't I need thirst that. only for blood. And Donut, have you seen us? Have you seen a frog? What? Sometimes I see a frog, and other okay. times I have never seen a frog. But you know what a frog is. I know see them frog. sometimes, but it seems like there are, are more that I'm registering. Hey, yeah, Count so Donut, just so you know, that's the universal experience. There's not a human <laughs> being on Earth that's seen every frog. Well, I suspect sometimes they're in water, so I would have no awareness of that. Okay, so now we're dealing with a sort of uh, object permanence when something goes in water. Yes, I, uh, it, it's a cruel trick of fate. I am permanent. While the world around me spins chaotically and continues well, to Well, no, when the frog goes in the water, it's definitely still uh, yes. there. It's still there. Yes. Also, the earth rotation Don't just is say, hold on, sad. Travis, hold on, oh. Travis. Don't just say yes. People, people feel bad for, for me when I have not been on the show for a while, but truly they should feel bad for you because this is the one moment you exist when I am perceiving. Oh, you. I see. Oh, no. Wow. Right. That's Count Donut, what a skewed view. One thing about me. <laughs> Hold on, I'm thinking, yes. One thing about me is I lack object permanence. So you yeah. you do not exist to me when I'm not directly looking at you. It's yeah. cool that you're aware of that. Like, that's a huge, mm. that's a power in and of itself. Yes. Um, I, my wife, Drew Barrymore, reminds me every morning when I whoa. awaken. <laughs> Wait, what? Yes. I live on a boat with Drew Barrymore. <laughs> So when you say you walk this earth, try and go (laughs) there. Well, I walk onto the pier and then I walk the earth, yes. Okay. but Every night. And then you go back to your boat home. Your boat home, which is about as close to living in the water as you can get. You've never even looked over the the side of your boat home and seen a fish. You've never been like, what's that in there? I thought it was part of the water. Have you been to Red have you been to Red Lobster? Red Lobster. I like the red part. I feel like if I ate crazy. No, come food. on. This is a land bit. This is a land based restaurant business. Have and you, I have know Drew Barrymore goes there. there. I know she's, I've seen her at <laughs> yes. Red Lobster. Even if you're I, not eating there, you would take her because you love her. <laughs> yes, I have. Fine. Yes, we could do this like this if you like. I have been I do want to do this. I have okay, cool. Red Lobster. So have you looked at the <sighs> highly, menu? Highly craveable. Yeah, great. Cheddar Bay Biscuits. We love those, but like, I look the at the one menu. Who must open the shrimp vortex every year turning English shrimp. Okay, so you know you just shrimp. said shrimp. I you just my po- well, I create yes, they're crispy and broiled shrimp. 
the amazing miracle food that comes from the vortex. Every year during endless shrimp, I must slice open my palm and let three drops of my blood fall onto the tablet. Yeah, we know. And then the endless shrimp vortex can open. It's yeah. a it's, it's, it skip says this, it on skip, every menu. Skip this. We know. Yeah, skip dialogue. Next, we know. Okay, so the miracle is that this, this food, this miraculous food of shrimp, comes yeah. from the vortex, completely no. prepared, no. and from no discernible source. No. Shrimp, no, no, no. Shrimp lives in it's shrimp lives in water for the most part, um, and so they are they are a type of they are a type of fish. Technically speaking, they don't look. I don't want you to look at a shrimp and be like, "That's what a fish looks like," because honestly, I would say they are kind of the exception to the to the rule. Um, most shrimps aren't. Most fish aren't like sort of curvy like that. Travis, yeah, are you? Oh, you're Travis Griffin. Yeah. Oh, are you telling me? Are you telling me they have souls? If huh. they have souls, then I am surely damned. No. There is no god on any plane that would forgive the number of shrimp that I have summoned from the vortex if they possess souls. Hey, let me uh, comfort you there, uh, Count Donut. There is no com- There's no fucking way shrimp's got souls. Yeah, there's no way. They barely, you they know... Do- they're 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 like one. The fact that they move is all that separates them from like a carrot. Do you, you know? You're telling me shrimp don't have souls? No way. Then Wait, how which do is they, how do they is, reach shrimp heaven? Oh, Thanks man. everybody. I really appreciate you listening to our podcast. What? Whoa, my brother, whoa, my brother whoa, and me. Yeah. It was all building to this. The prestige is that I turned down my hood and transformed back into your brother. Justin, and I hope you had a really instructive time. Make the mouth hole go, make the mouth hole donut go the fuck away, please. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It is, there's something about the placement of the eyes that did make that look like it was screaming, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, what if you don't take the teeth out? That seems like a big risk, actually. Anyway, thanks so much for listening to our podcast.